all righty good morning everybody good afternoon i hope you're all doing great it's week four of the taco society rogue league and hot on the mic rude boy mitch here also my trusty partner who does what he wants renegade how are you doing i'm great brother i can't wait for today's matchups uh it's good to hear we do know that there's nothing like rogue day also with our special guest announcer today We've got the one, the only, the legend with the blue hair, Reaper's Void. How you doing today, brother? Hey, I appreciate you having me on. Great, great, great. So um, just going to go through kind of the standings in the week matchups today. Uh, first, we will announce that the Rogue was Anvil today, and the map is High Camp Castle. Um, but let's uh, let's talk about the standings first. So we've got uh, Jay Doggles uh, in first place with 63 points. Aqua Stone in second place with 57 points. Necrospawn Gaming uh, with 52 points. Gabs in fourth for with 48. Tied with Asian One for 48. Ike Diesel and Monkey Tart tied for fifth for 50, 46 points. We got Frenchy, Oi Oi Frenchy in sixth place for 45 points. Vision tied. Oh, um, mistake. Vision is also tied in sixth place with uh, 45 points. Um, and then we've got Sosa Flea with 39, Lilith with 36, Patio with 31, Gomac 30, Miss Killer Bunny with 28, Heartless Slayer, uh, 21 points, and Hustle Dice, uh, nine points. Um, heading into this week's matchups, we're just gonna break these down a little bit. Uh, we've got Hike Diesel and Asian one up first here. Uh, Renegade, what are your thoughts on this? You said Hike Diesel and Asian one was first, right? Correct. I I think I think this is going to be a uh, pretty back and forth matchup. Um, it's going to be interesting seeing them play as as Anvil, because uh, uh, we know from playing with them that you know that that is definitely a character that they don't typically play with. Uh, so it's definitely going to be uh, an interesting uh, interesting gameplay. Uh, interested to see how they're going to they're going to utilize his bomb and maybe even his trophy system that he uses um and then seeing them use that that lmg is uh definitely going to be something to watch for too definitely definitely and reaper void uh i know you're fairly still kind of new to the game um i'm not sure how much experience you have with anvil uh what's your breakdown with anvil or what you've seen at least um what i've seen uh that's going to be very close uh i feel like that I think the tactical side, like uh, the trophy system, is probably going to come in good play this evening. Uh, and like a renegade said about the LMG, that is one you're probably going to have to watch out for. I've uh, been up against that myself, and yeah, I think that's been a lot of rounds. So uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be a close one. I really do. Awesome. And uh, kind of talking about Anvil, he also has the C4 that, uh, you know, last week I know Renegade uh, and and Bex and I were very surprised on how useful that C4 was, um, and how it came into play. It was definitely a factor um, in last week's matches. Do you see a lot of people using the C4 again this week, Renegade? I I definitely think it could be a uh, another key uh, key item to use against your opponent, and uh, how you're going to deploy it, where you might put it. So that you can get that, you know, that maybe that sneak kill on somebody that they're not expecting. So, yeah, it, it's definitely going to be a, a pretty good factor like it was last week. Gotcha. Gotcha. And uh, and Reaper, what uh, what uh, kind of experience do you have with people using or even yourself using the C4 in this game? Uh, I, I yesterday I recently used a C4 and it's a very hard uh, thing to use and get it in the right place. But what I have seen so far with the C4 placements, uh, people su I suggest people do definitely watch their corners today and watch where they're stepping because that's they're gonna go kaboom, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I think this is gonna be a very interesting match. We all know that Asian one uh, has been setting the tone for the last couple weeks. Um, as far as basically kind of having them neck and neck battles, um, do we do we see another one today neck and neck with Hike Diesel and Asian One? I I could definitely see it happening. Uh, he has definitely been the uh, quite the opener these last few weeks with with getting us kicked off. Uh, 
But yeah, I, I definitely see this one going back and forth. Um, I'm not sure who I would give the edge to, though. Okay. okay. Let's move on here. We got the next match here. We have Sosa, Flea, and Vision. Um, both of these two not really played too much Anvil, honestly. So we're not real sure what strategy they're going to go in. Um, we know Sosa Flea is uh, more of a diva main, and Vision, he uh, he has been taking a liking to Ronin lately. I know he he likes Vi a lot, but he has been taking a, a liking to Ronin. Um, per what we've seen in the last couple weeks, uh, with Sosa kind of having these up and down games where one week he's on fire, one week he's out, one week's on fire, one week's out. What 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 do you think we're gonna get? What kind of Sosa are we gonna get today? It is def definitely going to be, uh, it's hard saying really. I mean, he, he's, like you said, he's been up and down where he's really good one week and then he's, you know, he, he struggles the next week. Uh, this is definitely going to put a, this might be a, a, an interesting one just because of the fact that, like you said, neither one of these guys really use this one at all. Um, but I would definitely think that Sosa is going to definitely have to make sure he's, he's on top of his game. Cause, uh, Visions has pretty good accuracy with with some of the weapons in the game. So, uh, and he and he did use utilize that C four really well last week. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and then also, uh, Reaper, what do you think? I mean, I know that a lot of these competitors you have played with a few of them, but you haven't played with yeah. a lot of them, so you haven't really got to uh. see the play style. But from your your standpoint, still kind of being new at the game. You're coming in. You're gonna play a rogue that you've never played before. Um, what do you What do you feel? What's your experience like? Do you just kind of wing it, or do you kind of somewhat go with what you know and maybe just try to basically build a strategy off of that? Um, what What do you What do you What is your standpoint of going in and playing a brand new um, rogue for the first time? I, for me, me as a personal span, uh, you know, standpoint of me being new to rogue and trying new rogues out, I, I say props to them. You know, they're trying out new rogues. They're not sticking to the same one that they know. And I feel like changing it up a little bit could change the strategy a little bit. You know, obviously a lot of the people that are playing against each other know how these people play and changing it up could possibly change the title of some of the fights, to be fair. You know, they, you know, they have to play differently and tactically differently than what they normally would do. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see the, the people using new rogues. That's for sure. I I absolutely agree with you on that. Um, this is a kind of an exciting matchup for me because I am really, really excited to see who is going to come out on top and who basically uh, may, um, in a way, you know, uh, what strategies we're going to get because we're going to get all different types of strategies that we're not going to see throughout the entire day. Um, I really expect uh, the the two the first two matchups to really kind of pull out a lot of different strategies and. Um, kind of like last week, we did see some of the other competitors that were playing later on study um, the strategies of Saint and what was going on after that first matchup. So this week is going to be really interesting as far as all these competitors maybe watching the previous matches and thinking what works for them, what doesn't work for them. Um, going into the next matchup, we've got Patio and Lilith, and there's been a little bit of bantering in the uh, in the uh, the Taco Society with this matchup as far as Lilith saying it's it's Patio season. Um, so that's, that's really exciting because, uh, you know, she, 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 she knows that she's, she's a contender in this, in this league. Um, you know, she's got her good days, her bad days, but, uh, she knows she's a contender and she's, she's not, not somebody to take lightly. Um, and patio patio is kind of being, you know, one of the rookies to the game as well, where he is caught on very, very fast, um, in his movement. Uh, with him also being the aggressor of probably out of any of the tacos, uh, Renegade, what do you? What is your breakdown of this 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 matchup? Um, I, I definitely see this one being kind of following suit with with the first two matches, kind of being a back and forth matchup here. Um, I don't know how much experience you know Patio has with, with Anvil. I I do know that doing some. Uh, behind the scenes interviews. And uh, I do know that Lilith has been, has been practicing with, with Anvil the last couple of days. So uh, trying to get a feel for the character might be actually a pretty good idea. I'm not sure about patio, but I, I definitely see it being a back and forth matchup. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Reaper, uh, anything you can say on this? I know you don't know any one of these two competitors. Uh, all I could say is uh, I, I suggest they bring a lot of napkins because I, I feel like there's a lot of sauce going to be spilt today. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you know, And make sure that everyone drinks plenty of uh, squirt because you know it's going to get heated up in here. That's all I'm going to say, guys. Uh, yeah. Good luck. Definitely got to bring that squirt. Definitely got to bring that squirt. Uh, and uh, now the next matchup I'm I'm really excited for. And honestly, I think this is my star matchup for the week. Um, Monkey Tart has been proving over and over and over for the last three weeks that he is the man. He is wanting to be here. He may not be on top of the leaderboard, but that man has had play of the week for the last two weeks in a row. Um, it's going to be amazing to see if he can pull off play of the week again. Three weeks in a row would be just absolutely insane. And Frenchie is definitely the mechanic. He knows how to adjust and make sure things kind of sway in his favor. I think this right here is probably going to be my by far the sleeper match of the week. I think this will this match may even take the show today. Um, Renegade, what do you think? I, I might have to second that rent or uh, rude boy. Um, I think this is going to be a, a hard fought battle. It's definitely going to be interesting to see who comes out on top on this one. Um, but I definitely see it going back and forth a lot. Um, one might jump out, maybe get a couple rounds on the other one, but I don't see that that means anything in this particular matchup. Absolutely. And Reaper, I gotta go to you. You know Monkey Tart. Yep. You know Frenchie. Frenchie's your boy. Oh, oh, oh he's my boy. So, right, I'm, so what's I'm your, rooting. Um, what's your breakdown here on this one? I think you're very right when it comes to Frenchie. He's very tactical, and he's, and he's very good at adjusting. Uh, but, uh, you know, I just hope that he's put enough practice in and a bit of time. And uh, I saw him earlier, and he, he looked mentally ready. Uh, so, yeah, I, I just think they're all ready to go, to be honest. Uh, this is this. I'm just gonna see how it plays out, but you know, I think they're both very good competitors, and I do think they're they're both definitely gonna do well with each other. And uh, I wish them all the best on that. And uh, keep the C4 in your pockets. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, the next one, one on the list, we have Miss Killer Bunny versus Gomac. Um, these two have been kind of fighting and scratching their way down from the bottom to kind of climb up that leaderboard a little bit. Um, with Miss Killer Bunny having a a, a rough first week uh, with not scoring any points um, and Gomac scoring, you know, very little. But uh, this is probably the uh, the 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 uh, I would say the the runner up to see who can get higher on that 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 leaderboard. Um, this is going to be an interesting match because uh, Miss Killer Bunny is no stranger to to this game. Um, but I don't know what her experience is with Anvil and Gomac. Uh, he he might he might have been playing a little bit of Anvil off off in the distance on his own thing. Um, I could see him maybe practicing up a little bit, kind of getting some mechanics down. Um, I I don't even really know how to call this match either either way. I'm not sure who who I think has the edge. Um, but I I, I I'm I'm thinking this is gonna be a really really good match. Um, Renegade, what do you think? Yeah, I, I'm kind of right there with you. It's gonna be uh definitely interesting to see how this one plays out um but yeah again I, i'm kind of right there with you it's gonna you know i'm not i'm not real sure who has the the edge necessarily um like you said they're they're, they're all you know these two are definitely fighting from the bottom trying to work their way up into that leaderboard but uh i i, I just hope it's a really good matchup hopefully they both have put some time in working with the with the rogue that's for today and uh they put on a good showing. And uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, Reaper, do you have anything to say on this match? I know you don't really know too much of uh, either uh, one of these. I, I, all I can say is I, I wish them all the best. Uh, and um, yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I think it's going to be a very close one. Uh, yeah, good luck to them. And uh, <laughs> let's enjoy it. Enjoy the, the carnage, you know? And... Also, uh, heading on to the next match, we've got uh, Heartless Slayer and Hustle Dice, the two that are trying to stay out of that bottom of the leaderboard spot. Uh, Hustle Dice being pretty much brand new to the game. Heartless Slayer having really good games, just kind of being shorted out on a little bit of luck. 
Um, but uh, I think this is going to be a really good match because neither one of them have played Anvil. Anvil is a clunky guy to play. Um, he is he is not very as fast or maneuverable as some of the uh, the other rogues. So this is a whole different experience for both of these two because I believe uh, a Heartless Slayer favors Lancer and Hustle does favor Dallas, which are two of the rogues that are a little bit more um, on the uh, the agility side. So playing a bigger guy with uh, with a uh, a, uh, a, a I guess an ability that is, you know, a shield wall is, is going to be a, a, a great test of, uh, of both of their kind of coming down more or less just to shooting and skills. But, uh, you got to watch out for heartless man. Cause she is sneaky. She is sneaky. She learned how to use that C4 last week. So that's, that's going to be, that's going to be real interesting. Uh, renegade. What do you think? Yeah, I, I, I kind of agree with you. Um, this is going to be a really good matchup. Um, you know, it's definitely going to be interesting to see these two go at it with them, you know, being such good friends and everything outside of battling in this league. But uh, I think it's going to be a really good matchup. It's definitely going to be interesting, uh, definitely a test for, for each one of these ones with with having to use that shield wall and him not being the uh, most agile of the rogues in the game. Absolutely. Uh, Reaper Void, uh, you know Heartless Slayer. You know she's got yep. a she's got a little bit of a mean bone in her, and I know oh, you don't yeah. know know too much of uh, Hustle Dice. Uh, what do you what do you think here? I think uh, with a well placed uh, shield, uh, I think it could be a very dangerous uh, situation for the opposite uh, opposite player. Uh, but saying that, with a well placed C four over the top of that shield, uh, you know the ties could change. You know and. Uh, if you could sneak around and try to do some flanking, I think I think the shield would be overwhelmed. But who knows? You know, who knows who's gonna do it? Just uh, just play your corners and just make sure that they're they're doing just keep their corners uh, safe and just look out for the C four. <laughs> That's all I gotta say with that one. <laughs> Absolutely. Heading into the next matchup, Necrospawn Gaming and Gabs. Necrospawn Gaming had an emergency last week, so we weren't able to see his performance. Um, but we did get word uh, that everything is okay now, so hopefully he will be here today. And we've got Gabs, not a stranger to this game at all. Don't think she plays hardly any Anvil whatsoever. Um, Necro, he's kind of a, he's more of a glitch main. He does play a lot of glitch, but uh, he's he's dabbled in some D.Va. Um, so it, it, it's going to be really interesting because Necro is, is you know, again, no stranger again to this game. Neither one of these competitors. Um, uh, and Gabs definitely has the experience. So. I think this is going to really come down to a little bit of mind game play. I think I, I think Necro is going to try to outwit Gabs a little bit and uh, and see what she can do um, and handle some of these situations they put her in. But uh, I, I don't know. I I I want to I want to pull for Necro, but Gabs is so scary. Uh, Renegade, what do you think? I'm kind of right there with you, brother. Um, I I, I kind of want to pull for for Necro as well. But you, de you definitely can't can't sleep on on Gabs. She is she can be very deadly in this game. We've seen that, you know, these last few weeks. Um, but yeah, it is definitely gonna. I think, it, like you said, I think it's definitely gonna come down to the you know the mind games and the uh, different strategies that both of these competitors are gonna come up with. And Reaper, what about you? I 100% I agree on both of you. I do honestly think that it's whoever has the biggest IQ at that moment to play. Uh, it's a, it's, I think it's going to come to a point where it's just going to be that one play that's going to probably dominate the you know, stage. So whoever, whoever can make the biggest play, you know, and got the biggest IQ at the time, that's all I can say about that one, really. You know, good luck. <laughs> and breaking down the last match of the day, we've got the juggernauts, the two people that are on top, the one that... uh that everybody has been wanting to see um, another another championship pay per view match. We've got Jay Doggles and Aqua Stone, two of the hard hitting, just amazing competitors, and we've been seeing them play just great, just great every week. Um, honestly, this match could technically go either way. Uh, Renegade, what what do you think? This one is probably one I'm I'm probably looking forward to the most. 
Uh, I'm kind of with the other the other tacos in the Taco Society on, on this particular matchup. This is definitely the must-see matchup, pay-per-view quality right here. Um, the the biggest thing I, I'm I'm key, I, I'm really interested in in watching in this one is both of these both of these competitors do use Anvil quite a bit. Um, so to see who's going to come out on top in this one, when they're both using what would be considered their main rogue in this game, is definitely going to be really fun to watch. Absolutely. Reaper, anything you can say? Um, yeah, if they're both using Anvil, and uh, I suppose whoever wins out of it gets the bragging rights of the best Anvil, you know, and uh, I wish them luck. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that one. Absolutely looking forward to it to see who can uh, overwhelm and uh, conquer. So. <laughs> Absolutely. And the thing is, is also about this match, though, which is really, really intriguing here, is that Day Doggles has in the standings a six point lead over um, um, Aqua Stone. So I want to say that Aqua has a little bit more pressure than, than Jay does because Jay could potentially still have another rematch depending on how the scoring goes. You know, for instance, if, if Jay does still score 18 points and Aqua only and Aqua scores 21, Jay is still potentially not only one in the league still, but also has another chance to play uh, Aqua if he were to lose. But if Aqua were to lose and not score a lot of points, then Aqua could very well be knocked off the podium and this could be his his season because who knows what could happen so i want to say the pressure is definitely more on aqua than it is on jay doggles this this week agreed yeah he's definitely got the the pressure that that added pressure of uh making sure he can he can score enough rounds and get enough points to to keep himself in it absolutely absolutely um, and what do, what do you think about that, uh, Reaper, with having still a potential chance for, even if you do lose, you have a chance to still take number one in the prior weeks or even that's, still be in number one. That's that's very true. But um, at the end of the day, they shouldn't have to worry about the points. To, I hope they don't put themselves under pressure. You know, it's probably going to be a big thing in the back of their mind right now. Like if I lose this game, obviously I'm going to lose points. But I think, them, I think his main concern right now is just to focus on the game in hand. And uh, do his be utmost best. And if a rematch comes in, then we'll all look, definitely look forward to the new rematch. That's for sure. Absolutely. But it's going to be a big factor. It's, that is probably going to be a big thing in this game. Absolutely. Um, also, to kind of go over a little bit of the rules, uh, how it works here is uh, you get two points for an elimination as far as you know, uh, eliminating your opponent. One point for winning by bomb explosion or bomb uh, defusal. Um, so you must win the round, unable to get the points. You must win the round, unable to get the points. Um, also, on top of that, uh, per Anvil being the uh, the rogue this week, um, uh, per also the Taco Society voting on the rules, uh, bomb planting and shielding, that move will be banned. If that move is does happen by intentional, the rogue that is doing it will be deducted three points. And uh, just wanted to let you know. Um, also, on top of that, please, please, participants, stay in the plane until the plane pushes you out so you guys have equal ground as far as going to the each side. Um, trying to think of what else. Also, one more thing. Please, please, please keep the uh, screen sniping off of the radar. Um, we do want this to be a competition between friends. Um, so the, the more legitimacy we have, the more people that are going to enjoy it and get involved. We do understand that one screen is more delayed than the other. Um, so consider it as like an instant replay. Um, but remember this is taco family. This is love. And this is just having a good time. Um, we are doing something that has never been done before. Um, so please, please, please keep that in mind. Um, Renegade, do you have anything to add on that? Yeah, not much. I mean, like you said, you know, we're we're all we're all supposed to be friends. We're all supposed to be family, as far as being in the taco society. So let's, you know, 
let's take those those sneaky tricks out and uh, be fair be, and have a good time playing with your friends. Absolutely. Uh, and Reaper, anything you want to add on that? Uh, I 100% agree. You know, we're all family, we're all friends. Let's have a good game. And I wish everyone the best. And uh, I'm really looking forward to see who wins today. All righty. Sure. Good luck. First match of the day, ladies and gentlemen, we have Asian one on the left side. Cram or Hike Diesel on the right. We are going to be getting this match on the way as we speak. We are loading up into the plane now. Ooh, man, I got chills. I'm excited. I definitely am excited for this. Man, ooh, ooh, I'm just, uh, I don't even know, my breath, breath is kind of being taken away right now for all this uh, excitement. I don't know if you noticed on this map, Rude Boy, but uh, the one point is definitely going to be an interesting play. If they go to point A, there's not a, not a whole lot of real estate there at that point. So it's definitely going to be see, interesting to see if they go to, to A at all today. Absolutely. And participants, please do not ban uh, Lancer. She is the fast one to the fastest one to get off the map for the two that for me and Renegade to kill ourselves. So really much appreciated on that. You need someone fast. Um, yes, guys. Until Rogue fixes the spectate mode, we are limited as far as trying to uh, run off the map so we can keep it one on one. Um, so for any of you that has jumped in or have not seen a Rogue League week yet. Um, just, uh, just keep that in mind. It may look a little ridiculous, but we, we do what we can to make it work. So, but here we go. Try to stay in the plane, guys. Does anyone mind if I stream? We've got Asian one on the, on the left side here with the bomb as Cram is the defender. Good luck to you both. And here we go. Let's go. This is a really hard map because the thing about this map is there's so many ways to fall off of it, which does yeah. count a yeah. kill for the other person. Certainly does, yeah. All right, we've Map got... awareness, is, you know, yeah. your spatial awareness is definitely going to be a big factor in this one. Absolutely. Looks like Asian one, he has the bomb. He is kind of slowly moving to A. So A is being played up right now. That's good. Cram is also kind of creeping between A and B right now. He's kind of hanging in the middle. Oh, he did get a peek at, peek Ooh, at Asian. Oh, Asian oh. one did block that, w that way off, though. Oh, he Cram did. got a shot. Oh, Hit him once. Asian. The bomb. Asian block. Agent plants the bomb. Please allow. Goes the C4 on one side to protect himself. Hike ends up taking the zip line over to A. He's coming around back. Agent Agent. Come around to the back. Oh. 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 Hike guns him this down. Could... He has to get the bomb. This could be a play. Oh. And Hike with the first the win of the round. Nice fun by Cram there. That was very well executed. It was thought out. It was planned. I was kind of surprised that Asian didn't hear him get on that zip line. Oh, very surprising. This is this is definitely interesting. It's uh, like I said, this is a map that's not normally used, um, and having that edge on that 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 A side is is I think that might be the main play because you can kind of cover all corners on that side. I definitely agree on that one. Uh, a is definitely one to look out for today, by the looks of it. All right, Asian one this time. It's creeping to A again. As Kram is kind of staying towards A2 a little bit. He's kind of going with that same play he did last round, where he was kind of hanging out in between both both points. Keep in mind... Uh, yeah. Both participants still have the pistol only. It's 
so definitely came up. Oh, oh my God! Pike oh. oh. just sneaks him. Wow, Asia didn't even wow. see him at all. Wow. Wow. What Ooh. a play. Amazing. I think. Uh, I think. Um, Asian, he's uh, he might he need to uh, he might need to make a little bit of adjustment. Definitely looks like uh, Cram is sticking with this pistol even for this uh, <laughs> this third round here. Yeah. Some of the crowd, know, yeah. some of the crowd thinks that uh, Hike may be raging after last week. He wants he wants to get back in that that spotlight. Oh, absolutely, and I, I feel uh, what we mentioned earlier about the the points. I think uh, the pressure is starting to hit uh, Asian One for sure. I do feel like that's happening right now. All right, it does look like Asian One has purchased the LMG this time, and Hike is sticking with that pistol. He, he definitely stuck with the pistol this time. As... Looks like he's making more of a play towards B, then changes his mind. Looks like he's going more towards A now. Looks like uh, Asian One's really taking his time on getting somewhere. Hmm. He's not really in any hurry. He's still got a minute to play the bomb. <laughs> I like the way that the middle's being played out so well. It's Absolutely. The yeah. yeah, the middle's being played really hard today. And, and you know, a lot of people say that the, uh, again, we've, we've heard, uh, you know, if you have the bomb, you have the control. But Hike is not making it look that way right now. Uh, he is definitely, he's, it looks like he's trying to be more... I mean, he he is definitely playing defensive, but it looks like he's also trying to be more of the aggressor when it comes to the uh, getting into these gun battles. The thing is, this is a style that we've never really seen Hike play for. He doesn't really play the sneaking game as much. He's really more aggressive. So this is uh, this is definitely definitely a different look of Hike we're getting this week. Absolutely, it is. Looks like he's he went over to B, didn't see anything over at B, so he's making his way back over to A now. Oh, Asian one place. plants the bomb. He's covering the corner. Ike knows the bomb's over there. Yeah, he saw the bomb. He sees Asian deploy the shield over Puts there. Puts a shield on one side, really blocks him off. He says, come get this Ike bomb. Put, yeah. Ike puts up his. Ooh, nice. Oh, oh the C4. Nice try for the C4. Oh, man. Oh, Ike is on a tangent right now. Dude. What oh, a, amazing play. What a distraction by throwing the C4 over the shield and then coming around on the other side. Wow. And he had to reload his pistol while while that gun battle happened there at the end and still was able to pick off Asian. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Ooh. Man, I'm nervous on what's going to happen here for these later matches. That is a, that's a scary edge there to kind of hang off because one wrong move and a slip. You could uh you could give your your opponent, you know, easy I, easy I, the win. I it just purchase the LMG for this round. Hike does have the LMG for this round. Let's go. Okay. Hike did pick up the LMG. What do you what do you what do you think right now, Reaper? Break 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 what down what you're seeing. I, I I'm seeing some amazing plays right now, especially with the right shield cover and the C4 distraction. Absolutely amazing plays right now. Uh and now the LMG's into play, I feel like there could be a few rounds going around everywhere, and so it's definitely going to pull us some destruction right now. Looks like... Uh, Asian, it's not over. Yeah, Asian one is actually going to head over more towards B right now. Hike is sitting on... Closer yeah, to he's B. pretty much sitting right on B. Well, they may he, be definitely was playing a little more, he was definitely playing a little more aggressive, getting straight to the point. This is a really. Now he's just kind of sitting here. He's waiting to see what Asian's move oh, is. Oh, he's, he's got, got to him. Peek at him. He's so hurt. Oh. He's so hurt. Is he oh, gonna follow up? Is he gonna push? Right Hike retreats a little bit. Hike retreats. Forty-five seconds to plant the bomb. Hike is healed back up. He made Hike think there for a little bit. I don't know if anybody else noticed, but. Oh, no. I did plant his C4 behind Asian him. Asian one's hurt. All friendly oh. And he picked him off. Oh. Wow. What a gunfight there, man. Hi Asian almost had Hike there, but Hike went off and recovered. Recovered Woo. just in time. He only had two hit points left. 
I think that uh, I think that Asian just needed to heal up a little bit. He should have swept over to the left side and kind of got his bearings back a little bit before he actually uh, engaged more in that that fight towards the end. But that was just I mean, and that's where it comes down to shoot. You know, hike. We all talk about how how great of a shot hike is. You know, so like he looks he looked absolutely spot on with every every bullet that hit out of that LMG. I oh, definitely did. All right, we got right. an Asian one moving over to the right. Uh, B. Is definitely going straight over to B here. Looks like it looks like they are wanting to play a little bit of B. I think this is a. I think this is, we wouldn't think that uh, Asian would have went heads up with uh, with uh, Hike straight on like this, but uh, he's 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 doing well. Absolutely, I noticed that Cram a Cram has been more aggressive on this round as well. Trying to take yeah. up the uh, primary positions, sure. He is definitely trying to get that that prime position so he can get a get a peek at both entryways towards B here. Absolutely, that way he does a control on A and B. So either way, he'll be able to get to both points. At, you know, this is pretty yeah, quick. Absolutely, and this is one of the smaller maps, so mm. um, it's weird. We've got the biggest guy with the smallest map, and it's uh, it's it's very intriguing to see how the movement is. Um, we do have 35 seconds before he has to plant that bomb. So Asian is kind of running a little bit at a time. Looks like Hike is making his way slowly over to A here. Yeah, 25 seconds, I think. Gonna if play, he goes out gonna that play, door, no. he goes out that door. Oh, he doesn't see him. Asian's right behind him. Oh, oh no. that was so wow. sneaky. Well Hike didn't even Asian. see him. I, I don't think wow. he ever heard him either. Wow. What? Who would have thought the biggest guy is the sneakiest plays right now? This is insane. Definitely. Uh, looks like there might be some, some mind games going on right now. Mm-hmm. I agree. And and he, he literally looked at the wrong point because he obviously was in the part of the stairs where when he passed, he couldn't see him. You know, yeah. There was no line of sight. What a play. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great, great play. Let's see if Hike comes out and be, is a little bit more aggressive or if uh, if uh, Asian keeps playing this sneaky game. It looks like Hike is running a little bit more now. Yeah, he's done, he's, he's doing the, the same thing he has done the last two rounds. Rushing straight in through B. Ooh, he's going clear back into where... Well, he's Asian going right into the only. stairs. He's going right into the stairs. I think, I think crime if he wants turns that done. corner, he's going to see him. I think they passed each other and didn't even see each other, though. I, I almost 100% think they did. Oh, no, we didn't. Yeah, they did now. Cram walked right past that stairwell as Asian one is over by B. Cram took the long way around heading to A. They completely, literally passed each other. As Asian one by B the bomb. plants Cram the bomb in the doorway. C4 on the side, going for a sneaky play. Shields off one way. Strategic play is coming into play right now. Sitting on the stairwell. Cram is moving. A nice play, nice play. Cram gonna take the bait. Cram going the long way around. He Does he have enough time to get there? He knows. Well, we do know you have 50 seconds when the bomb's planted, so time is running out. Cram mm. does have to make that play. He knows. He sees that shield. I think he's getting a little worried about it. Over against the wall. Oh. Guns him down. That's what I like. To oh see. man, oh, what a Asian. play! Amazing. That was some. Sh that was strategy at its best. Our turn to attack. Yeah, I don't think Cram uh, expected Asian to be down below that staircase because he peeked over that side when he got to the bomb but he never he never he didn't see him absolutely and uh we've got a pretty good uh pretty good uh matchup here bomb switches sides uh four two on each side with hike diesel in the lead Try to keep up i do notice uh, you know the, the stairs are definitely being played a lot more in this round in this game 
Absolutely. Uh, they're using the stairs, losing the stairs very well. Now, in case the uh, the the audience at home isn't aware, after doing some testing, you can be about 24 meters away from that bomb and still hear it being uh, defused. I, I believe I believe it's 20 exactly. So anything past 20. I, I, did, I did do some testing. It, it does extend a little bit. It gets harder to hear beyond 20, but you can still kind of hear it at 24. Oh, beyond okay. that, you definitely can't. So you got to play the, the bomb pretty close then. Fair yeah, enough. you have to be yeah. fairly close to that bomb to be able to hear it. All right. Asian wants to Asian okay. does see Asian. He definitely sees him. He As... knows exactly where Asian is right now. He sees him right in that doorway. As also with the with the uh, bomb switching sides, that gives us gets us back down to pistols again. Graham is definitely taking his time. He knows the Asian was up in this doorway up on top of these stairs here. I like the way that he did put the riot shield down to block the, the zip line. Friendly's eliminated. And Cram picks him off. Cram just sideswipes wow. him and picks him off. Asian, I don't think even seen him. That's also um, the hard part about that is, you know, when you roll into something, you, uh, you know, you get you get to a, uh, you get into a kind of a, a hard hard spot to where you can't even roll away from a shot, um, which kind of makes it easy picking as we just seen there. Yeah, definitely unlucky at that one. All right, so we are 5-2 with Hike Diesel up top. Still still been amazing plays. It's still technically anybody's ball game. Anybody can come back and win this. So Absolutely, the game's not over yet. All right, so Graham is maybe trying to go for the same strategy he did last round. Coming straight around towards A. I noticed that Kram is playing very aggressive, like rushing straight to the objective areas, taking strategic points. Yeah, he's definitely doing rushing straight into a point so that he can he can get the uh, the upper hand. Absolutely, yeah. Asian. We got a pistol battle. Asian one has the high ground. Oh, Kram taking cover behind these crates. Packed him pretty good. Definitely a pistol battle going. We got a pistol battle, ladies and gentlemen. Asian one throws the C4, trying to catch him off guard. Graham's rushing up the stairs towards Asian. Oh. Now we got Graham a pistol battle. We got 19 40. seconds. If if Asian one holds him off. All friendly. Oh, oh nice. man, he almost oh, held nice him Graham. off. Wow, what a fight. That was a great yeah. pistol battle. Absolutely. Great play by both of them. Hike Diesel with match point right now. Asian one not going to go down swinging. Graham did just purchase the uh, the LMG for this round. Oh, the LMG's coming back into play. Let's go. All right. Looks like Cram is going. Kind of rushing over to B here, going with a different different uh, strategy this time. As uh, is kind of searching both sides here, kind of really favoring B. It looks like Cram with their peeking behind B. Oh, Asian one's seen Cram. I think Asian one's gonna try to sneak up on him. 
The thing is, is we also haven't seen Cram really deploy his shield that much. Find it and defuse it. We really Bomb haven't. is planted. Uh, he deploys it there and through a door. Oh, he's, he's pulling a trick out of Asian One's book. They meet. Oh. C4 throw. Cram throws C4. Oh. Asian One's got still a little bit of time. Cram's still reloading. Ooh, it's coming down to shot. Oh, Cram's really hurt. Oh. Cram switches to the pistol here. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's going to reload. Diesel wow. mops him up with the pistol shot. Headshots. Textbook. Wow. Can't Amazing. Well teach played, that. Buddy. Well played by Cram. Well great, played. Great, great job, you two. Phenomenal match. Uh, can't really, uh, can't really, uh, teach what we just seen there. Breakdown, we've seen some strategies. Uh, Reaper, what do you think, man? I, honestly, I think that map was a very tough one, uh, especially with that sort of character. Uh, seeing, uh, seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of good plays, you know, especially the sneaking around. Unfortunate with the stair situation, you know, he literally came around the corner at the time and didn't see him coming up the stairs, which is, you know, nothing no, no one could complain about, but Oh no, that was that was an amazing fight. Uh, like the pistol fights, that, that got me, and the distraction with the C4, uh, amazing plays by both of them. Congratulations to both of them. They both did well. I 100% agree. I think that was a great match. Good opener. Um, that score does not speak for how good that match was. So um, don't take anything away from the Asian one. He did a phenomenal job. Hike. It was good to see your shots come in and hit on point. You did great. Absolutely phenomenal to both of you guys. I know you guys are definitely doing well sh handshakes after the matches. Um, well done. Well done to both of you guys. Well done. Really, really proud of both of you. Um, up on deck here, we've got Sosa Flea and, and uh, Vision. Um, again, we did talk a little bit about this, this matchup. Neither one of these guys have really played um, uh, Anvil that much. So uh, it's going to be really, really interesting to see how how this breakdown goes. Um, per the strategy in the doorway of that first match, when 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 uh, Asian one blocked off the door, planted the bomb, sat up on the stairways to really kind of give it only one entryway to try and get to that bomb to where he had a bird's eye view. Do you think that's going to be the best strategy we've seen all day? Because that was that was really textbook and tactical, if you ask me. Um, or what do you guys I think? Go ahead. I definitely think that that could be a, uh, a, a good strategy to do. Cause you're, you're making it, you're, you're dictating where they have to go to, to, uh, come to that bomb. So yeah. Yeah. You know, playing that in the doorway is definitely going to be a, a, a key thing. Absolutely. I absolutely agree with that. Um, and what about, uh, what about you? What do you think, uh, uh, Reaper, like I know, we've seen some play on the outside. We thought a lot of it was going to get played on A because of the way you can kind yeah. of dictate A, but they really played B a little bit more on the second half of that uh, fight. I agree. I was actually surprised that B got played more than A. You know, like you said, considering A was quite a good spot, I think, for that character alone, that rogue. Uh, you know, because you can use that shield to block one side and obviously force the other person to push you on the left or the right. Um, but B was very surprising. They both did very well. And, you know, the first round when they, he put the shield down, it didn't obviously, it forced the uh, the other guy to to push him. But it also gave him color to retreat back to A and get that that, that bomb plan. But my, I think my best player of the game so far was was the C4 distraction and flank it to the left. I, I got to say that was the best part for me. Wow. That was an amazing distraction. I, I, well done to both of them. Very, very cool. All right. So next up on deck, we've got Sosa Fleet. We've got Vision. We are loading up into the plane now as we speak to get this matchup on their way. Um, as far as uh, both participants, good luck to both of you. I hope you guys have a tremendous match, and let's give the people a great show. Um, again, don't count on either one of these two. Uh, they are uh, amazing, amazing tacos. I know they've had some matches behind closed doors. We're talking Rocky and uh, 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 Apollo behind closed doors that nobody's seen. Um, so this one here, this is where it comes down to spectator. Uh, who wants it more? Negate anything you got to add on to that? I don't have much to add. 
you, you covered a lot most of that one for me but <laughs> we've got a uh, sosa flea on the left side vision on the right uh as far as um sosa will start with the player. bomb and uh you know again also kind of talking about a little bit more of the last match before we get loaded up here uh again we mentioned i mentioned that uh you know people say that if you have the bomb you have the control well asian had the bomb first and it did see that, like hike did have more of a control so would it be map scenarios of where you really have the control or is it still believable that if you have the bomb you have the control i think in this particular this particular map might uh might change that Does anyone mind if I stream? change that 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 thought process Oh, I definitely agree. Yeah, I, I I honestly agree with that one. And also, uh, per some of the audience are asking a couple questions here. Yes, uh, so we do randomly pick a rogue each week. We are sticking with the basic rogues. That means the non-viable rogues for this for this for these uh, this league. We will change it per future okay. leagues in the future. Um, but as of right now, it is just the basic rogues. Uh, so everybody will be playing Anvil at at this time because it's a test of skill. Alrighty, uh, we have uh, Sosa Flea here with the bomb, kind of running straight towards B, not taking a stealthy approach. As who kind of rushed in straight in towards A? Yeah, as Vision. Yeah, as Vision towards A, and it does look like Sosa does end up taking the uh, approach of blocking off the doorway, but he plants the bomb in the corner this time. Very strange strategy, but I'll see how this plays out. Yeah. Vision sees the door blocked off, so he looks like he's going to go around backside. We also notice that nobody's busted out the glass yet, so... Um, you know, maybe it would be not a bad idea to bust out that glass because then you'd have more doorway and entryway in, in that side. But uh, Vision knows he is kind of getting a little bit shortened on time. Sosa does have... Oh, he, the shield. Oh, he protected the bomb a little oh. bit, lured Sosa out. Sosa's hurt. Oh. Sosa's he's really hurt. hurt. And Vision guns him nice down as Asian, oh, wow. or as Vision, Vi I said, Vi Vision <laughs> defuses the bomb. I honestly well think, I honestly think he uses his shield for a distraction there. Yeah, wild well play. I, I, well think played. He was, I think he, he might have intentionally put that there, or he was trying to use that. Oh, looks like he was trying to use that shield to uh, kind of defend himself while he defused that bomb. He un unfortunately didn't place it correctly, but it kind of worked in his favor. They didn't place it in the proper spot. That was a that was a definitely great play by Vision there. Yeah, it definitely uh, lured out Salsa. That's for sure. Yeah, I think you're right. That whole planting the bomb in the corner there, uh, Reaper, was kind of a interesting spot. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it was a well played spot, but it was very interesting strategy. It, it even so, it worked. It planned out. Uh, it was a well played, well played execution. As we have uh, Sosa heading to A now, looks like he's gonna play that uh, that edge Vision's factor. Already got the, uh, the already got him, got the melody, and guns him down oh, on the zip line. Zip line. Uh, what a play! Wow! How did wow. he miss a shot? Wow! Wow played. Just seeing him right away. Guys, again, please remember to try and stay in the plane while they're going on. I'm not sure, but I, I think I think that was I think they both were on my end, but yeah, that that, that was really quick. Yeah, Visions rushed straight into that 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 area of the point again. And he got an eye on, on Sosa real fast. Let's go. Wow, that was insane. Just gunned him down. All right, Sosa. Sosa's heading to A here again. Visions is rushing towards B here. Sosa has the LMG this time as well now. This should be very interesting. Sosa's kind of taking more of a sneaky approach. Yeah, he, he, he might be trying to take a sneaky approach after uh, 
these last couple of rounds. I think the pressure is definitely Maybe. hitting. I, and the other thing is, is that like, I know that that doorway heading towards A is a lot bigger than that shield. So do you, de do you try to deploy your shield there or Please do you just kind of play I, it out? I still, I still might try to deploy it there because it, it, it may de deter the, uh, your opponent from, from trying to go that way. That's yes. very true, but it could be very risky doing that though, because at the point of them deploying it, someone else could already be there, you know, like one of those risky right, plays. Right. Sosa's kind of sitting right out in the open, which is really strange instead of covering the, oh my God, right Vision sees get, him from the side. Down. All Vision's got to do is, is defuse the bomb and he's got this round again. Wow. He's got more than enough time to defuse it too. Absolutely. Vision is looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Visions is definitely putting on a show today. Absolutely. Ooh, Sosa. What does Sosa have to do here? What? What is he? He's playing the sneaking. He's played the rush. I mean, I, I think it's right now. It's just coming down to he's he's his placement of the bomb and where he's placing his shield. Um, this may come down to more or less just inexperience with the rope is what it is. It, it's. I, 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 I definitely uh, feel the same way. Yeah. The inexperience of the rogue is, is definitely uh, hindering Sosa at this point, I think. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, uh, you know, Sosa is definitely not giving out any napkins today. You know, he's letting, he's letting the Sosa drip everywhere, you know? That's, yeah. <laughs> All right. We've got uh, Sosa going A. We do know this map is really slow. So, or, sorry, it's really small. So they are meeting very early right now. Very early. Vision, like he's going with that same Vision went straight round. to B. Yeah. Sosa took that chance and took that zip line again. Planting the bomb. Planting the bomb. The bomb. All right, Visions knows the bomb is not at B. He's going straight over to A here. Oh, he's fun? blocking the stairwell. You got to watch Please that left out. side if you're Sosa again. Visions is, is definitely peeking. Visions in that big doorway right now as, as Sosa thinks he's pretty well pretty well got this spot contained we are seeing a lot of play at a this game mm. we got it we got a fight time here oh what Go. happened oh. what did he just blow him up with the c4 what? visions through his c4 as oh. he approached oh. the oh my a. god Stop. What a play by Vision. Wow. Sosa didn't even Sosa tried to run from the C4 and just couldn't get away from wow. it. Wow. What, what a, a shield play placement. Vision. Yeah, what a play. The shield the shield placement and then Ooh. the C4. Oh I my think, god. I, I think I think Vision's placing that, that that shield before he went to defuse that bomb was definitely uh threw Sosa off there. That was definitely the fanciest play of the day we've seen yet, for sure. Absolutely. What a, that, that, that C4 play by Vision is just brutal there. I mean, nobody nobody wants to shut out your brother, your family member, your taco fam, but uh, the bomb. man, come on, like, let's go, Sosa. Let's 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 get a groove, buddy. Let's let's do this. I'm 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 pulling for you right now. Vision just, like he's just going for that same thing. Yeah, Vision's definitely going A, or sorry, going B, checking B first, and then creeping to A. He's kind of letting Sosa decide where he's going to go. He's going to B, he doesn't see it there, and he waits for Sosa to kind of plant or make a play, and then he just bombards Sosa. Yeah, yeah it's Looks like Vision enough. is heading over to A now. Taking his time. Definitely not being uh, being loud. He's definitely Sosa using is the, shooting uh, wildly in the air. I think he's trying to draw vision out. Sosa says, I don't want this bomb. Let's just fight. <laughs> Visions is still taking his time, though. He's not. <laughs> Sosa has 35 seconds to plant the bomb. Still vision, got plenty is, of time. vision usually doesn't back down from a fight. But he is playing that sneak game really well. Just remember that C4 was placed as well. Absolutely. I, I know Vision's I Vision coming around. 
I think Sosa wants that wants that fight, and Visions is not taking seconds. the bait. If off. Sosa doesn't plant the bomb, he's gonna lose the round. They're gonna meet. They're gonna meet right here. Oh, oh, Vision just off. waits it out and puts puts a haste on Sosa. Well Vision, played. Vision well played. definitely came to play today. Vision is playing mind games for sure. Easily playing yeah, mind games. I think Sosa knows that Visions is usually all for the gunfight, and I think that might have uh, threw Sosa off by Visions not taking the bait on it. Uh, absolutely, uh, uh, you know. I think definitely uh, Vision is definitely uh, maintaining his aggressive role today, you know, not going for every fight. Let's go. Absolutely. I 100% agree. Well, we are 5-0 right now. Bomb switches sides after this. Sosa could possibly make an, a, a, an amazing comeback, but he is he is just, I don't know if there's still, he's still groggy, sleep in his eyes, um, but he's got to wake up right now. We, we definitely supplied the, the targets with, uh, with uh, Squirt today, right? You know? Because <laughs> it looks like everyone's energized. There are, oh, yeah. no, he runs right by him! Oh, oh no. Vision Vision follows him all. Wow. wow, that wow. sneaky game is just wow. terrible right now. We're defending. Lock it down. And wow. for that to be the biggest character as well, the sneakiness on his character is, is, is unbelievable. Absolutely. Like I, I did not expect this much sneaking from from this this rogue. I'm up for a run. I know, like the biggest character in 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 rogue, you know, like and the quietest. Yeah, I'm real. It, it, it absolutely mind blowing. I'm only Enemies are on match point. Enemy spotted. All right, bomb switches sides. They're down a pistol. Vision has the bomb. Reaper, it sounds like you got a fan here in chat calling you out. Uh, my family members, I can see. Hello, family. We got we got Reaper Void, a hot on the mic, the special guest announcer this week, and uh, we are in this crazy fight. Vision now has the bomb. As Vision looks like he's going straight over to B. Sosa peaks A, heading to B now. Kind right. of playing sneak. He's kind of playing sneaky, but then not playing sneaky. He's 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 going up. I'm, yeah, it's, I love Visions the aggression that they're all playing. Here. Visions is definitely taking his time right now. He rushed over for a bit, and now he's he's playing that sneak game again. So he's definitely taking his time coming over to be here. Oh, Sosa got a peek at Vision. Oh, oh, oh! oh. We got a gunfight here in the corner. Who's got the better angle? Who's got the better angle? So Sosa tags him once. Vision's got him hurt. Vision's had to reload. Plays oh. the shield. Plays the shield. Oh. And planting bomb, right? He planted the bomb. Bomb is playing it. Planted. Protecting it. Sosa's. Sosa's got some shots. Vision's is hurt oh. a little bit. He's reloading. You see Sosa. Sosa's still got his shield. There's a close one. Oh, headshot. Eep. Lots of lots of movement, lots of rolling. Oh, oh, Sosa oh, gets it. He's just got to get to the bomb. He's got to get the bomb. Oh, there we the go. Bomb. Sosa ends up pulling up his first win of the round. Not over yet. Not over yet. That was a close one. Well Definitely done. Definitely not over yet. Well done. Well done. What do you think? What do you think Vision thinks? He he was he was purely dominant. He you know he wanted the shutout. He, he you think he's kicking himself a little bit right now? He might he might be giving up the yeah. he he did give up the high ground there for for a few shots and that that might have cost him a little bit. Uh, absolutely, I think that did cost him like losing the high ground. Now now uh, now winning one round uh, so with Sosa winning one round does that take a little bit of pressure off him? Does he feel like okay this is this is this is this is doable? I can do this. I I definitely think it would bring in a little bit of confidence knowing that okay, I I can still get it. You know, I can still get some wins here. I pulled off one. I should be able to do it again. 
Okay. Absolutely. I Sosa. feel like it's morale is growing. Sosa has the LMG. Visions does not. He's Sosa deploys his shields oh. closer Visions to. Visions did get a peek at. I think they both Visions seen each other. Vision saw him right at the top of the stairs here. Oh, Vision, Vision came in and blindsided him. him. Oh. Vision comes in and takes oh. the win. Well oh. done, Vision. Well done, Sosa. No. Amazing Please. show. The, the stairs was played again. Look, that, that yeah. stairs seems to be a dominant part of the map right now. It is, it's, it's unreal. Well done, you two. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal match. Like always. You guys are doing great. Next up on deck, we've got Patio and Lilith here. What do you guys think? Break that down for me. I, I definitely think this is going to be a uh, maybe a little tighter tighter uh, contested match than these last two, but uh, I think it's going to be a good matchup. Not sure who I give the edge to, though, but you definitely cannot sleep on uh, on Lilith. Absolutely not. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. not. It was a phenomenal match. Um, you know, we've seen some, some, some really good dominance there per that last match. Uh, you know, a lot of questionable bomb placements. Uh, very questionable on that aspect, but uh, but definitely at the end of the day, um, was a good shot. And Sosa did try to come back and make that underdog move. Um, and now we've got Lilith and Patio with Patio definitely being more of the aggressor. Lilith has been talking about Patio all week, saying it's Patio season, it's open season. I'm ready to sit in my long chairs and just enjoy life with a campfire and make some s'mores. Uh, do you think Patty will be able to answer to that? Ah, I don't know. Like I, I, I'd like to think that you know that that may not get into his head, but it, it, it could. Uh, absolutely, I do feel like um, it could probably be playing in heads right now. You know, uh, what I've seen so far, everyone's been aggressive, and I, I feel like maybe this match could be turned out different. I think there's going to be more of a sneaky approach. Uh, I really do. So I hope they hope them both the best. And uh, here we go. We're gonna load up into the plane. While we're waiting, we want to give you a, a a nice little advertisement brought to you by the Taco Society, one of the best discords on the planet, as some people may say. Uh, if you guys are interested and want to be in future events, please join the Taco Society. Um, we do take care of all streamers and non-streamers, supporting everybody. Um, it's a great place to promote yourself and have a good time. Also, on a side note, uh, this play is also brought to you by Squirt. Do you want to play like a rogue champion? Please get your Squirt, not a sponsor. Absolutely. If you want to be energized and be like us, make sure you drink Squirt. Demolition. Plant the bomb at a site. Alrighty, so here we go. We've got uh, Lilith on the left side, Patio on the right side. Uh, Lilith right, will go. start with the bomb. <laughs> the crowd just loving the squirt talk, Reaper. Oh, well, well, like I said, you know, get your squirt today. And, yeah, you know, as you can see, everyone's been drinking their squirt today, and the plays have been amazing. Yeah, it works. All you need is your squirt and a frozen pizza, and you're good to go. Man. Oh, that's good, you know? Nothing better. <laughs> to keep up. <laughs> oh, and here we go. We're oh, off. Lilith off. starts with the bomb patio. They are loaded up into the plane. We are going. We just got uh, also uh, breaking news that we are, uh, we are trending on Twitter worldwide, ladies and gentlemen. Hashtag... Taco Society Rogue League online. So check out your Twitter. Make sure you uh, you follow if you like what you see. Lilith on the ground grabs the bomb. 
Uh, taking the sneaky play, kind of heading to B. Patio looks like he's kind of peeking A here. Like he might, you're going to take the zip line over to A. And it does look like we do have a Lamborghini on the field as well. That Lamborghini has not been harmed in any way. <laughs> hey, beautiful vehicle. Hello, Patio's Patio's as yeah lilith is definitely uh playing the sneak game i think these competitors she blocks off one doorway not a bad move um i think these competitors are definitely watching the uh, previous matches on where the they want to how they want to play anvil uh the bomb is being planted in the corner as patio Whoa. just got word that the bomb is planted now he's still kind of hanging out over by a making his way to b yeah he's, he's at b now Definitely being cautious coming in. Definitely taking his time. Oh, he sees Lilith deploys his shield. We got some shots. Oh, oh, Lilith is oh, hurt. Lilith Patio is cleans her, her up. Wow. Wow. Look at that oh, textbook wow. shooting. Nice play by Patio oh. there. Ooh. I ain't seen shooting like that since the Wild Wild West. Holy Amazing smokes. Job. So precise. Amazing. Absolutely. I mean, every shot was just dead on. Yep. Absolutely dead on. Patio says, huh, you want to sit in your lawn chair? You think this is going to be in match? No, nah, not today. Watch this. <laughs> Patio did purchase the LMG for this round. Patio, oh. has, the, Patio has the LMG. He has Lilith still rocking the pistol. As the crowd now is just going crazy for Squirt right now. I know. It's a good drink. As, uh, yeah. as, like Patio, uh, I'm making the same play he did last time. He's peeking A here. As like he might take the zip line again. Lilith is going A. Patio is definitely perching the A side as well. They're going to probably meet early here. Patio, Patio on the around. back side of A. I think Patio oh, sees Lilith. Patio guns her down on the zip line. I never have zip line play. Just go. Wow, that zip line play is so hard because it's so loud and you're just your your mobility is absolutely just You are so vulnerable. You're so shot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean it, it it may be faster in a way, but I don't know if I would take that zip line anymore. It is definitely the uh the, the more risky of the plays in this game. Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely definitely a one to risk. You know, even the stairs, you know, I think A at the minute is, is probably the hardest one to, to take, in my opinion. B seems to be favorite. As like Patty was going to go over towards B this time. Lilith playing the sneak game again, uh, heading more towards B as Patio is heading B as well. Patio does not have the uh, does not have the C four. As ever sneaky approach. Runs in oh. early, and oh, Lilith work. finally Runs guns down. Patio down now. Wow! Well played by wow! Up there. Wow! We are seeing a very denominating of gunplay going back and forth between the two. Not really a lot of C4 play, but definitely some gunplay. Some hard-nosed gunplay. It's definitely uh, becoming a close one, that's for sure. Absolutely, and, and we, we thought this was going to come down to something like this. Both of these yes. competitors have not really played the Anvil that much, so. Lilith with her first win. That's going to gain her a little bit of confidence. Heading over to B now. And one A, taking the zip line again. Patio is a. definitely heading A. Finally goes down to the crouch position. He's peeking that zip line that Lilith used that one previous round. Yeah. I think he wanted to double up. Yeah, it looks like he's uh 
Looks like he was gonna try to take that zip line down. I'm passing the bomb. Sided yes. against it. Lilith does plant the bomb by the wall. The, the wall strike and sits by the wall. She's gonna cover the up top and kind of keep that high ground. She does have one entryway blocked off, so there is two ways still to come in out of the three. Yep. Lilith does creep down a little bit more, gets on the stairs. How do you think? How do you see that comes up behind her and guns her down? Ooh. Uh, Man. That may have been the, uh, a bad move there on Lilith's part. I, I think so. She yeah. should, probably should have kept perching up by that. Mission failed. They've disarmed the bomb. Yeah, because she would creep right, right into his line of vision. It was a very uh, weird placement, but it seems to be working though. Like uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't play that out for a minute. Uh, we've seen previous rounds like placing in that corner seems to be working. Well, in previous maps, we have seen the bomb being placed in the corner, and mm. as it's being placed in the corner, there's other ways to kind of cover it to where there's only one entryway. Yeah. Um, so with this map and there being so many entryways to kind of do things yeah, it's, it's very difficult. It's almost better to plant the bomb more out in the open, you know than to Plant it up or butt it up next to a wall That's very true. That's very true. So I, I think I think honestly the 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 planning planning next to the wall is Kind of a bad move on this map It's It's a very risky move, but it could play out but we haven't seen, we still have not seen like the bomb planted and the C4 being thrown on the bomb yet or anything in that nature. Uh, um, we haven't we have seen those seen sneaky plays, but no. if I if I had to break it down, I would say right now, Vision does have play of the day with the blind behind the back kind of throw on taking out Sosa. Yeah, that was an amazing play. That was an amazing play by Vision. And yeah. Lilith guns down Patio and Patio oh, doesn't wow. even see her. Wow, what a play. Wow. What a sit Amazing. and wait there. Wow. Neck and neck, ladies and gentlemen. This is becoming a very tight game indeed. We are not seeing a whole lot of uh, planning the bomb in the, in these matchups so far today. There's been a nice. lot of gun battles to uh, decide the round. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely, I 100% agree. The good thing is, is we are seeing good, solid, clean play, though, from every competitor today, which is really, really Absolutely. great. So far, there, there, there has been very, very honorable um, matches, and it's just, it's phenomenal to see. And he was creeping here. He's right in the middle between A and B. Poison shield. Oh my He's god! Lilith. Oh, Patio, oh. oh my Lilith god! Patio even had the jump on Lilith and still just kind of went a little wild on the shots. Lilith. Those first few, those few, wow. first few rounds that he uh, that he fired out of that gun, he, he completely missed. Lilith definitely had the uh, had had just no idea. I mean. That split second of him missing them shots was just huge for Lilith's play. We are tied up, ladies and gentlemen, just like that. Try to keep up. What a play. Also, uh, also, yeah, uh, that was just, that was insane. It was absolutely insane. I, I'm just overwhelmed at how quiet this character is. Like, it's insane. He's so bulky. He's got so much armor on. Surely you should be able to hear him, but no one's hearing each other right now. It's crazy. No, it is a absolute play. We have switched sides, oh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Now Patio will have the bomb. We are down, back down to pistols only. Three, three, tied up. What a match. Neck and neck. Anybody's fight. All right. Patio has the bomb. Looks like he's making his way towards A here. And Lilith has taken B a little bit. Patio is definitely considering Patty, using the zip Patio line. is thinking about awesome. using that zip line. Patio is thinking about it. Very risky. As Lilith is now kind of swinging, he, he does use the zip line, does take it. As 
Lilith is now kind of treading back to A. Mama's planted behind the building here. Oh, see where he, see bomb. where he Disarmed. places the uh, the shield if he places it here. All right, bomb is planted on A. Patio's covering the back side of the stairs. Not interesting think, placement of the shield. Here. I think Lilith yeah, did yeah. see the shield when she ran by. Patio don't know that, that Lilith is above him. Patio, he Lilith's gonna come. Patio, Patio heard the shield plant. Oh, Patio, he her, he got the Patio got the peak. Got the peak at her. Nice shot, headshot on the top. Oh, Lilith got the Rolls into ground. his own shield. On shield. Lilith on the chase. Oh, Bob's gonna explode. So close. Patio's waiting it out. Well, oh. oh. Oh, and I think Patio just wow. won by bomb explosion first yet. He did. He, did. he, he distracted wow. her enough to keep her from defusing that bomb. Ooh, Patio wow. with a clutch win by bomb explosion. Well done. That was Great a party, party. that was that was a definitely a survival play there. What, what do you what do you what do you what do you think about that survival explosion win, uh, uh, Reaper? I thought it was a well played. Uh, kept the diversion going, kept it distracted, and won the game. I, 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 amazing, amazing play. I was a little bit, you know, a bit doubting the shield placement, but it, it, it played out. Yeah, it definitely played out in the end. Renegade. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I was definitely a little questionable on the on the shield placement. Like Reaper said, but uh, hmm. it definitely ended up working out in his. I, I mean, he, he didn't end up winning the round, so I guess it kind of worked out in his favor there. And Lilith is now taking B as Patio again, thinking about that A zip line again. As as Lilith yeah, let's take the zip line again. Lilith is heading in the direction of A. Lilith does oh, have the LMG I'll this time. Patio does not have the LMG. He places the shield again in kind of a an odd location here huh. i mean even an it's odd location can throw your opponent off it, that is oh, true that is very true true. true yep patio is definitely using the the sound to his advantage here taking the uh the low ground oh Pat Lilith, Lilith blocked off the stairs and went around she's heading towards the bomb oh Lilith is defusing the bomb fake defusal meets in and guns hey, down patio and then the turns around and defuses the bomb that was definitely well, some mind but... game play there yeah. it definitely threw patio off he wasn't sure how to get back up up to uh try to defend wow that was that was that was, was, a, that was... That was a nicely, nicely played was a... shield by uh by lilith there i think that was oh, that was definitely mind games at its best there that's for sure And play, uh, the, the shield placements of this this match has been amazing. To be Absolutely. Fair. Like they've, they've, used, they've used it correctly, and uh, they're definitely using them to their advantage, and it's working out in Absolutely. this scenario. Absolutely. I 100% agree. 100% agree. Lilith, Lilith in this la that last round kind of used hers as like a, a counter shield. Yeah. As uh, Lilith is now uh, heading in, doing the creep again, kind of heading more towards B as... Patio looks like he is Patio kind of favoring A right now. He is favoring A, and he looks like he's going to head up and use the zip line for a third round in a row. He's definitely being cautious about it. He's looking. Come me up. Definitely taking his time here this time. I think Lilith knows he's going to play A, but Lilith's just giving him time to do what he needs to do. Lilith is kind of taking kind of taking the long way around as Patio yep, does take the zip line. Places Enemies places planted the, the bomb. Stop that. Bomb, bomb is here. Kind of more on the open now this time, a little bit more away from Take the vault. The zip line back down. Kind of a, another risky move here by Patio. Mm. But he does have eyes on the bomb here in this lower ground area. He has the shield deployed. He sees Lilith. 
He sees Lilith. Lilith is really peeking around as Audio has the, uh, has the LMG this time. She is hidden behind that wall. He's Patio had out. to make an adjustment to make the gun down, but he nice. does end up making the play. That's that the was well played there by Patio. Absolutely, that's the first time we've seen it. The bomb at a at like a peaked view play on this yeah. map. We are we are five four, ladies and gentlemen. This this matchup is neck and neck. Some people have to pay a, uh, extra for this type of action. Oh, absolutely. It's very very close this one. That's for sure. As uh, Lilith starts heading her usual spot a little bit and kind of goes more closer to uh, to that uh, B side, but she oh they run early patio, patio guns are down early wow and takes the zip line just because he wants to <laughs> that's four rounds now the zip line's been used. <laughs> If anybody's getting play of the day for taking zip lines, Patio is definitely that competitor. Patio with match point, Lilith with a little bit of a bind right now. She really needs to uh, try to keep this game out of reach. Patio making some amazing plays. Yeah. Does Lilith change up the strategy this time? Does she go a little bit more aggressive or does she keep kind of playing this little sneak game? I don't know. Um, huh. I, I would think that you might be catching on to every every round that Patio has had the bomb, he has gone a use the zip line side. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why she's not playing that to her advantage. Yeah, she did take yeah. B again. She's going on the backside of around the long way, heading to A. Kind of playing sneaky still. Patio's still watching. Patio really loves the zip line play right now. He is loving it. Looks like he's heading back towards the zip line. Definitely, he uses it this time. Looks like he's looking for the bomb plant at A once again. He he's got definitely the, he had the bomb in hand while he was on the zip line. Like he was ready <laughs> for that plan as soon as he dropped. He looks like he did get a peek at Okay, at Lilith. Lilith, Lilith on oh. the zip line side. Lilith sees Patio. We got a gunfight in the distance. Patio oh. did purchase the armor this time. Yeah, he did have oh the armor. Oh my god! Oh. And guns are down god, from the top. It. Lilith almost had about two more shots. Lilith would have had Patio. But Patio does end up taking the win, has the high ground, and if any of us have seen Star Wars, we definitely know you don't mess with the high ground. Well done. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good fight to both of you. Yep. Phenomenal, Amazing. phenomenal play. Again, I don't think the score shows just how close that matchup is. Phenomenal, phenomenal <laughs> matchup. Absolutely golden. Absolutely. Yeah. Next up on deck, we've got the the match we were talking about that we think was the uh, the star match to be watching out for was Monkey Tar and Frenchie. This right here was the match I was excited for. We've got the guy that uh, you know has had play of the week, play of the day, two weeks in a row. Um, so really, really excited to see if he can cl clutch it again versus the guy. We call the mechanic who can make adjustments on the fly and uh, really be a force to be reckoned with if, if he gets his mojo going. Um, breaking that down, uh, Renegade, what are your thoughts here on this opening match? Like you said, this is definitely a, uh, a marquee matchup. Um, like you said, Frenchie is the, is the one who can make adjustments quick on the fly. And and then you got Monkey, who's kind of the uh, I don't know. You might even call him like a dark horse of of, of the competition. Um, you know, kind of stays in the in, in in the darkness and then just shreds people. And we've seen that the last couple weeks. 
Absolutely. Also brought to you by uh, one of our sponsors here, TWS, Taco Wrestling Society. You all missed it yesterday. Monkey Tart is the world taco champion at the moment. Um, so if you guys did miss that, uh, go check it out. It is up on YouTube. Also, VOD as well. Um, was an amazing match uh, between all of these competitors. Um, but also, again, leading into this, do you think him being the uh, the wrestling taco champ may go to his head at all, uh, Reaper? Or do you think uh, he's going to be pretty cool, calm, and collected? Um, I think he's going to be a bit calm and collected. Uh, I know he won the belt yesterday, but you know how long he's going to keep before we don't know. Yeah. Um, but with Frenchie being the mechanic, I I feel that Monkey may have to uh, think about what he does because Frenchie obviously can uh, change on the fly. So I honestly think there's going to be some amazing plays on this match for sure. Uh, so it's definitely one to watch. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, again, both of these competitors are not really too fond of Anvil. They don't play him as much. I think Frenchie may practice a little bit. Monkey Tart, he's such a sleeper. We don't really know exactly what he is doing um, as far as his time of play. But uh, it is going to be a phenomenal match, and I am looking forward to it. This is, again, the star on my match as far as um, who I think will be, uh, be, uh, be the match of the day. Um, so please don't go anywhere, and uh, let's, uh, let's enjoy this match and, uh, to its finest. Loading up into the plane now as everybody is getting on. And uh, here we go. UK versus UK. Demolition. I know this is just so exciting. I mean, this right here also is a good match because if, if Monkey does pull this off, I'm up for he it, will move back up into the leaderboards because he was sitting at second place for a while as well, if I remember correctly. So this is a good opportunity for Monkey to try and pull this out, but uh, but Frenchy Frenchy really really wants to 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 win this so he can move up as well. Um, I know he's uh, he's been sitting about in the midsection, but it's maybe his time to shine and get up there on that on that on that podium. You're right on that one. It's definitely going to be a close one. All right. Monkey Tart on the left side. Oi, oi, Frenchie on the right. Monkey Tart starting with the bomb. These matches are moving along fairly, fairly quick today. See Frenchie there in the plane there doing some dancing. Yeah. Gotta watch Rocket that guy. Leader. He's, 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 he's like ready. Book for the Anvil character. Gotta uh, watch he, that guy. He's squirrely. Oh, yeah. He's locked in. Alrighty. All Monkey right. Tart so moving. moving straight in towards the uh, towards A here, it looks like. And Monkey Tart moving towards B as Monkey Tart sporting the original Anvil uh, outfit and and uh, Frenchie sporting the, uh, the uh, welding outfit. Uh, Anvil outfit as Monkey took a little bit of a play, plants the bar bomb. Thought about planting the bomb, but decided not to. Ooh, Frenchie deployed the C4. Frenchie, oh, oh Frenchie comes up and Monkey shoots him and spreads him. Oh, I, I think I think Monkey got a little fancy there. He was thinking about doing C4 kill blindly. Got a little fancy. But yeah, uh, a perfect rush. but Frenchie he ended up uh, capitalizing on on the the shots he already made. So well done, Frenchie. Way to clean that up. He definitely played the aggressive there. Absolutely. Sure. I expect both of these two to probably play pretty aggressive. Honestly, uh, yeah. Monkey may slow it down, but uh, I, don't, I don't expect anything less from Frenchie being the aggressor. I did notice that uh, Frenchie did get the uh, LMG for this round. That's, that's, that's going to be good. LMG's out, out on the field again. And it does look like Monkey is heading to A this time as 
Monkey is peeking at Frenchy you. Get is a peek peeking over A as well. He sees him on the zip line. Monkey Ooh. used the zip line. That's so scary. Frenchy did get a peek at that. Frenchy's placing the uh, C4 on the uh, left hand oh, side. Frenchy comes oh. in. Oh my god! Oh, Monkey dog. with a roll and C4 kill! Wow! No. God, he's so sneaky! Well played by Monkey. Wow, played. So sneaky! Oh. That was the win after it Frenchy had the jump on him. If I know Oi Oi Frenchy, he is laughing at loud at that play right now. <laughs> you know he is laughing. He is like, oh my god, what did I do? And he is laughing. And we all know that Frenchy laughs. That, man, that, that was an amazing play. I mean... It was. Oh. I, d I think personally Monkey didn't pull the C4 off. I think Frenchy had him. That's for sure. Absolutely. But, uh, Absolutely. But both of them well played on that one. Monkey does have the LMG this time. Ooh, Frenchy man. Going back to that same spot he was the last two rounds. Now Monkey goes B as <coughs> Frenchy kind of sits A. Does put the Looks C4 like on one it. side of it. Frenchy slowly Frenchy. heading to B. Places the, the C4 in a doorway here. I think Monkey's trying to figure out what the best way is to uh, to kind of... definitely being cautious about approaching the bomb here. He sees Monkey. Oh. Frenchy puts the barricade oh, in the doorway. Oh, Frenchy puts the barricade to get the bomb defusal. Oh, he can't get him well in. Played. Frenchy gets the bomb defusal by oh. blocking off the doorway. Amazing well, play. Wow. By, uh, oh, what wow. a smart play. Wow. wow. I think I think Monkey just kind of knew he was beat there. He was just like, oh, man. Oh. That might have been a, a, a poor, yep. uh, poor bomb placement. I don't think it was such a poor bomb placement. I think it was just a bad position placement for Monkey. He was... He was on the opposite side. He was thinking that Frenchy might have come the Let's same go. way that it did the, uh, for that first round. Um, but that was just that was just IQ right there. Rogue IQ yeah. with Frenchy blocking off that doorway. It was definitely, definitely uh, 200 RQ. Yeah. Absolutely. Man. As Monkey That's now well heading to A. Oops. Taking Frenchy the zip line. Frenchy sees got him got down. Frenchy oh, guns him on that zip line. line. We've seen that play wow. three or four times today. That zip line is a death trap. It is definitely a, a risky play trying to take these zip lines, Ooh. especially that one. I mean, I, I I mean, I hate to say it, but I don't think anybody can take the, the zip line like Patio. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Patio That's had true. that zip line move pat. He may, he may want to copyright that, that zip line play. Yeah, I think Patio may have invented the zipline move. <laughs> Let's go. As all right, <laughs> as going back to that same spot. As a monkey is heading into the uh, the heading more towards the B side again. Frenchy peeking A. Frenchy, oh, oh they meet early. Other. Oh, I think. Uh, oh, Frenchy went for the C4 play and kind of missed his throw here. Got stuck on a box. Monkey he does grab it back. Monkey does have the armor, but did not refill it yet. That could cost. Frenchy does not have the armor yet. Frenchy has not bought the armor. I think Frenchy is playing around. He's heading back more towards B. Monkey sees Frenchy. Monkey seen a tag of him. He's sneaking up. Monkey goes back to refill his armor. Here. Right now, if it comes down to a meeting, Monkey does have the edge a bit because he does have that armor. Frenchy is on the staircase peeking and he gets Monkey. Oh, and it comes oh, up behind down. him and cleans up Monkey. Well done. Well done, Frenchy. He took the staircase well and took that, uh, that sneaky approach that we've seen in the previous round. Yep. 
Staircase keeps getting played, and uh, and they're using it very, very well. Wow. Wow. Good play. Monkey, I think Monkey needs to make a little bit of an adjustment here to figure out what he wants to do. I know that zip line, he cannot take that zip line. Um, but he is, he, he's, he's not out of this yet. Anything can happen. Absolutely not. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This is still anybody's game. And he's going right back to that same spot. He likes to peek over by A. Because he gets an eye on that zip line. Monkey right oh, now is he's, peeking as well. He's, he's monkey approaching the stairs. They're coming to the stairs. We got a fight. Oh, oh. oh and Monkey. Fritchie has the high ground and guns him down. You mentioned about that high ground and, and from the Star Wars movies, Blue Boy. Yeah. Uh, Bomb switches sides. We're down to pistols. No armor. Richie will have the around. bomb. Anyone's game still. Anyone's game. Frenchy, uh, Frenchy is definitely making Anvil look very textbook right now. We are sticking to the pattern of uh, not a lot of bomb planting and, and defusing in this particular uh, these matchups this week. Yeah, it is definitely. I, that could be because of the map is so short. The possibility. We have very one, possible. We have one win by bomb explosion by patio and one defusal by Frenchy the entire out of all four matches so far. So it's definitely one of those maps in it. You know, it's more more gunplay than it would be uh, placing because you know, of the size yeah. of it. Agreed. Agreed. Absolutely. All right. Frenchy the bomb. Looks like he's moving uh, pretty uh, quickly towards B here. Yeah, Monkey heading to B as well. Monkey slouches down and kind of crouches, heads back over more towards A. And she's taking his time here. Peeking behind these crates to uh, see if he can Whoa. get an eye on Monkey. Looks like Frenchie's definitely taking his time here with this plant. Places the shield. Oh. Looks like he was trying to plant the bomb, but dropped it. There we go. Wow, he plants the bomb, bomb on the it. inside. He's making Monkey have to come player. around. Oh. And C4 in the doorway leading towards the bomb. Absolutely. You know this it's going to be a, definitely a, a, a different take on the uh, the bomb placement here. This is definitely going to be hard because you do know Frenchie is oh. going to be sitting in one of those corners, waiting to peek oh, out. He's moping. He's moping. Oh he my god! Oh, next time. Just Four. takes him out. Well played by with Frenchie the C four in the corner. Wow, Woo, that was amazing. Man, I don't know. I think that's a tie between that and Monkey C four with roll for play of the day already. Mm -hmm. Man, well, well played. I think Frenchy actually might have even given Monkey a peek at him, so that Monkey knew that he was that he was standing behind that doorway. Absolutely, I think he definitely baited him in. Frenchy is definitely, definitely playing very strategically with that bomb. Let's go. We've not seen anybody plan it in the corner of that door, just the corner of that square. That bomb has to be pointed in that square, but pointed it right on the corner. You've not seen that play yet. Definitely was, uh, an interesting play. It would definitely was an interesting play. That's for sure. All right. Looks like Frenchie's taking his time here. Looks like he's over by B. But definitely okay. taking his time here with match point in hand here. Would not mind not mind talking to Monkey or Frenchy after that play to see what their thoughts were when when Monkey was playing that. Oh, I don't think Frenchy's seen Monkey. Frenchy yeah, Frenchy does does see him now. Oh, oh, man. Oh. He weakened him with the C four and gunned him down with the LMG. Wow. Well played. Good job to both of you. You GG. guys played Frenchy very well. What a play. You guys did awesome. Well done. 
Well, well done. Absolutely. Frenchy with AC fours. He he was pulling all the stops out today with that. That's for sure. Absolutely. Very, very well, well done. I think having the uh, practice with the C four was definitely uh a help to today's matchup for Frenchy. I would like to see if uh, if Frenchy and Monkey uh, would be interested in coming in for a small little interview um, after that match. If you guys want to pop in here, I would love to interview both of you um, to kind of see what your thought process is on that play. If not, that is okay as well. But uh, Frenchy, you don't mind, if, boy. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. Absolutely. While that intermission is going on, Frenchy, uh, Monkey. You want to jump into the Discord chat, and for a small interview, I would love for you guys to come in because I want to get your thought process on those mind games you were playing. Yeah, we 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 need to know, you know, the mind of that that play that you did with the right shield. Absolutely, the, the bomb we got to know. Absolutely. Please, please, please uh, enter if you guys want. We'll give it till time till Renegade gets back. Um, next up on deck. We do have, I believe, Gomac and Miss Killer Bunny on deck. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Monkey, okay. welcome in. That was a phenomenal play with your rollback on the C4. But my yeah. my my main question is is when that 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 last play, not the last one, the one before the last play, where Frenchy had the bomb peaked right on the corner of that, and he was baiting you to go into that building. What were your thoughts before you entered? Um, I because I saw I, I peeked and I heard him on, on the corner, and then I see he's uh, I see him literally on the corner, and I didn't see any C four, and um, yeah, uh, that was uh, quite a quite of a trick of a play to 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 do. Wasn't I happy. <laughs> I 100 percent agree. Um, yeah. you you played amazing, uh, Reaper. Anything you want to talk to him about? Uh yeah, Monkey. What was your thoughts about when you went up the zip line? Like, uh, when you started getting shot, what were you thinking? Like, I regret I mean, this decision. Just to see if I can get there as quick as I can. Um, like I said, I I won the first one to get to the zip line, get yeah. there quickly. Uh, and just see, it was literally just a matter of pace. Yeah, there. exactly. He got there so quickly and gummed me down. So that was, no, it was uh, amazing, amazing play by both of you. Like, it did really well. Absolutely. And to be honest, the points didn't matter on that side of it. You both did amazing. Absolutely, Frenchy. I do see. Very, I do sorry. see. No, you're good. I do see you in here as well, Frenchy. Man, amazing play when he caught you on the edge of that. When he rolled back and caught you with the uh, the C four. Uh, I gotta know. Did you laugh hysterically? Because I feel like that would have been a laughing moment. <laughs> firstly, firstly, GG's monkey. I mean, it's Thank always you. a tense affair, no matter who you play. So, um, and I'm sorry that <laughs> it was it was the way it is. I mean, yeah, when that C4 went off, that was funny as because I thought I had him. I thought, hey, eh, got him around the corner, um, you know, mashing him with the LMG, and then suddenly, bang, I'm out of there. <laughs> so that was very good, <laughs> very uh, good, awesome. And then, what was your thoughts when you played when you played that bomb on the corner like that, and you blocked off the store because nobody has played the inside of that house? Like you just did. What were your thoughts on that? Were you intentionally trying to give him a little bit of peek so he would come in, knowing the C four was in the corner, or like what was your what was your plan ultimately? Yeah, I mean, I mean, firstly, I wanted to do one of those where I set him up to come in that way um, and put in the C four on the corner. Yeah, I, I mean, the only way to draw him in because what would happen if if I didn't show myself there, he would have gone into the other entrance of that room, and then I wouldn't be able to do the C four. So it would have been a probably more of a fair fight. But so it was kind of let's peek, try and get him know that I'm here, and try and engage in a gun battle, which is what he was about to do. And then the the C four went, of course. So. Absolutely. Well, hats off to both of you guys. I appreciate you guys yep. coming in and interviewing after the game. Um, you guys played awesome. Uh, I don't have anything else for you guys. Uh, Reaper, do you have anything you want to you want to um, ask? No, that was pretty much clear. That, that play with the right shield and, and the bomb plant to force him to come around the left flank like that. Um, well played. Well played. And Monkey, well played by you. Uh, your C4 uh, earlier was amazing. Uh I, I, it was unbelievable to see four chuck and get friends who got the gun down. So congratulations to both of you. Both are winners in my eyes. 
GG's, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. GGs. Yep. Thank you guys yeah. for the interview. Guys, if you don't follow uh Oi Oi Frenchy or Monkey Tart, definitely do. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal individuals. UK strong baby. Um, love them both to death. And uh it, it was just it was just phenomenal action. Just can't 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 uh can't uh um can't just take anything away from 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 anyone so uh well well done uh as we're waiting for renegade to get back our next matchup is miss killer bunny versus go mac uh miss killer bunny will start with the bomb uh go mac will be the defender uh both of these competitors not haven't seen them play a little i haven't seen them play too much anvil um so that's what makes it really exciting we've seen a lot of plays i think that We've seen almost pretty close to about all the strategies thrown out right now. Um, Reaper, I mean, what do you think, though? We always seen, at least seems like we've seen them all so far, but then something yeah. gets invented every match. It, it, it has been some, some, like you said, something's been invented. Like, you know, last game with Frenchie placing the, the right shield, uh, forcing uh, for him to come in into the court order. And then we, then we see right shields being placed down the stairway, you know, and then you know, winning the match by di diverting them away from the bomb. Like, like some of these plays right now, I've never seen in my lifetime, and uh, they've been amazing plays. And I'm enjoying to see more, more, in more inventions when it comes to a ride shield. Because to be fair, this character, he's big, but he's very sneaky, and it's it's strange to see uh, uh, the biggest character in the game actually be able to sneak around about being seen or heard. It, it, it's it's the games are incredible right now. So, right. I it's just crazy. I 100% agree with you. Um, if we had to break it down, since we are in this intermission, we have at least three contenders for play of the day right now. We've got one where Vision through the C4 and Renegade so. Is, by the way. Oh, welcome back, Renegade. Um, we have uh one where Vision through the C4 while Sosa was running away, and Sosa did not see it. Um, uh, was just perfect timing to get that right on. Um, we have uh, the one with the rollback that uh, Monkey has, and the uh, then we have the again the sneaky going into the house play that Frenchie did. Uh, if you had to, if you had to um, basically pick one play of the day right now out of those three that I would say would be the top contenders, what do you think, uh, Reaper? Who who would you say uh, play of the day goes to right now? <laughs> At the minute, I think the game of the play, to be fair, it, it has to go to Frenchie. Like, with that, with that Royal Shield placement and that bomb plant, and then the C4, to lure him into a gunfight and get him to C4, to me, that, that's got to be the game of the day. It has to be at this time. But who, who knows? Who knows in the next game? You know, someone else might be coming up with something new and, and, and inspirational. So, you know, but yeah, that has to be the play for me so far. Absolutely. Renegade, what do you think? Out of those three right now, because I think those three are the top three contenders of play of the day. Um, who do you think has play of the day right now? For me, I, I might have to go with Visions with the uh, the blind uh, C4 wow. on Sosa. Really? I, 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 I mean, I did like that play, and it is very high contender, but I'm kind of with Reaper. I think the way that Frenchie sorted out that strategic play to plant that C4 the way it was on the side of the wall, putting the shield up in the right way, he literally kind of had it like, a blueprint of exactly what he was going to do. I kind of have to say Frenchie had play of the day. Um, and you know, it's funny because monkey has had play of the day for the last two weeks. And this week, Frenchie gets played possibly play of the day. We're not done yet. We still have four more matches uh, play of the day, but yet monkey is still in play of the day. <laughs> so <laughs> potentially, Potentially, Monkey still possibly could get play of the day, even though he's not on the winning side of play of the day. He could still get play of the day. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a close one, that's for sure. You know? So, anywho, yeah. without further ado, we have Miss Killer Bunny and Gomac. Uh, intermission is over. Let's get this on its way. We're loading up into the plane. Again, if you guys missed the amazing Taco Wrestling Society. Uh, yesterday, go back and check out the VOD. Phenomenal. Lots of fun. We've got plenty of things on the works in the future. If you want to be a part of any of this, the Rogue League. Oh, looks like we had a little bit of a technical issue. Um, so we are going to have to uh, 
try and uh, get this sorted out. Uh, the game did not want to load. Um, but uh, if you uh, if you guys want to get involved with any of this uh, this craziness here with these tacos, um, definitely join the Taco Society. We uh, we are a, a great Discord, the People's Discord. We support all streamers, no matter what you do. We support non-streamers, even if you don't stream. We support those as well. Um, please come and be a part of it. And in about three weeks total, we will have a duos tournament where any Taco Society member is able to be involved in it. Um, we have some slight stipulations as far as uh, who may be choosing partner on the last place side of things. But... Please, please, please come be a part of it. Uh, we would like to get to know you and basically know exactly what everything is about. Um, trying to get some invites going here, but we are having some issues. Having some issues. Uh, Miss Killer Bunny, I do apologize. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, you may need to leave the lobby. Okay, perfect. Perfect. We're getting now. All right, let's get this match on the way. Here we go. So guys, please, please, please come be a part of the Taco Society if you want to get involved with this league, tournaments, anything in the future. Um, not my words, but some people say that it is the best community of all time. I'm not, not my words, but no. Here we it go. Is. Here we go. Sorry, Reaper didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, no, no. It, it is. It's an amazing community. You know, uh, everyone's family. Everyone's equal. So if you are interested, make sure you hit that link to the Discord, guys. Seriously. And get involved. Get involved. You know, it's not just road company, it's wrestling, everything. So uh, make sure you join the family. Seriously. You're all welcome. There we go. And that's coming from our special guest announcer, Reaper Voids. If you don't know who he is, check him out. Phenomenal, phenomenal guy, streamer. Always think of new ways to innovate and also uh, bring uh, exciting content to you guys. So please, please check him out. Um, also, my other partner in crime on the mic, if you don't know right, who he is, go. is Renegade. Check him out. He does uh, Taco Society franchise mode on Madden Monday nights. If you want to be a part of that team, definitely check him out. He will put you on the team. Um, and uh, yeah, here we go. Miss Killer Bunny, go Mac. The two that are scratching kind of towards the bottom of the leaderboard, trying to get their way back up. Miss Killer Bunny on your left side. Go Mac on the right. Miss Killer Bunny will start with the bomb. Miss Killer Bunny has uh, had a pretty good outing the last couple weeks. Um... First week was a little rough, but we definitely have seen her grow in the coming weeks, haven't we, Renegade? Absolutely. She has definitely uh, grown since week one. Alrighty. Miss Killer Bunny on the ground. Looks like she's heading towards A with a sneaky approach as Gomak is also looks like he's heading more towards A. Taking it, he's definitely creeping. He looks like he's taking that same spot that Frenchie was using in the uh, last matchup. He does have a peek at Miss Killer Bunny coming up towards the stairs here. Oh. We got a gunfight early, gunfight oh. early. Go Mac misses some shots. Killer Bunny plays her shield to uh, to recover. It does look like Miss Killer Bunny purchased the anti protection device, which gets rid of. And Miss Killer and Bunny with some headshots to clean him up. Oh. Wow. Oh, what a fight! You think that was almost a desperate amazing shield deployment there? As uh, oh, it a, it's a wild place, uh, right shield, in my opinion. Uh, give her plenty of cover. I agree. That definitely give her time to recover. That's for sure. Um, it does look like Miss Killer Bunny did purchase the LMG, as uh, as uh, as did Gomac. As did Gomac. Yeah, good first opening round. Both of them meeting on A. I think we are down to gunfights right now in this map. I mean, it is a lot of gunfights. All right. Looks like going back, to, going back to that same position he was last round. Absolutely. And as we've seen before, I think it comes to this map, it's all about the fighting. 
Uh, I don't know how small it is. This killer bunny heading to B. Finally does have the bomb in. Going to plant it. Ooh, I'm she's planting it kind of on the outside there, the door. So Mac knows the bomb is planted. Put, He's making his way over to B. Put down the anti-protection so that C4 will not work unless it's unless uh unless uh that that gets destroyed. Oh, oh we got a fight! And Miss Killer Bunny just guns Wait, him down as he walks way. in. I think Miss Killer Bunny is uh is is come to play today. Oh, and then we get it. We get a dance after. I think game on. Game yeah. on. Okay, it's still it's still just two heavyweights slipping the jab, filling each other out. As uh, we load into this next match, we're two hot, two up on Miss Killer Bunny's side. Go back. What do you think? Do you think he takes more of an aggressive approach? Do you think he starts kind of slowing down a bit? Yeah, I, I would definitely start thinking about maybe taking a different approach. Uh, looked like he was trying to implement the same strategy that Frenchie used, but he's not uh, not executing it the same way that Frenchie did. As looks like uh, uh, Gomak is peeking the stale row, sees Miss Killer oh, Bunny. Oh. She oh. rolls out oh. of the oh. way. As Miss Killer Bunny, Go back is on the on the on the chase here. He sees the dance the, the shield. Puts down the anti air. He put it down just in time because he went to deploy that C four to try to get a, a smooth kill on her. Crushed us. And Go and Mac shreds her down. Oh. Go Mac gets the better angle to shred Miss Killer Bunny down. Wow. Wow. Absolutely insane. That that uh that anti protection down was just a clutch move to get rid of that c4 right away it's also the first time we've, we've seen that anti-protection used all Ab day absolutely yeah, absolutely yeah. you know we still have not seen the play where the bomb gets planted and the c4 on it we have not seen that play happen yet we've seen a we lot we've seen a lot of that last Fuck week yeah. with saint it, uh, like we said it, it could just be that you know, th this particular, uh, this map is being so small. We're not getting a lot of the uh, the bomb planting, so that, that may not be a strategy today. As, That's true. As yeah. uh, Miss Killer Bunny starts heading more towards B, looks like Gomak is kind of treading and around. That, kind door peeking B. that doorway is so scary oh. because... Got to peek it at Miss Killer Bunny creeping by heading towards B. Anti door. She's planting the bomb down in the corner next to that door. Oh, and Gomak comes up behind and just shreds her. He still has to. Uh, he still has to defuse the bomb. He still does have to defuse the bomb. And there he goes. I think he almost <laughs> forgot a little bit on what he had to do. I I, I, I think he thought he got her before she planted the bomb. As uh, oh, it's nice play though. Nice play. Very, very, very good at entertaining plays. Um, we are all tied up now, ladies. And gentlemen. All tied up, and uh, we are getting on one of those neck and neck battles again. This is what we love to see. I did just get breaking news that we are, we are, the number one view right now on Rogue Company, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. There you go. All right, looks like Gomak is uh, moving towards A here. He does have the C4 still. He sees Miss Killer Bunny creeping by the stairs here. Oh, oh Gomak's got the high lot. ground. Really hurt. Wow. Oh. Oh, nice deployment of the shield to 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 he get up. She's got both Little sides here. Bro there. She's got both sides peaked. Gomak trying to lure her out. Miss Killer Bunny knows she's pinned down. She's got a minute still left to plant the bomb. Gomak kind of circling around more on the bridge. As 
She oh, does he retreat. He, he, he did see her run away. Is he going to take the zip line down to chase her down? That would be an interesting play. Yeah, that would be. Would he, would he risk it? Knowing that he has a high, high point right now. No, it looks like he's going to decide against using the zip line. Making his way over towards B here. I think kind of she's unexpected. trying to pull Sosa's move and lure him out a little bit. She did blow up oh. her own C4 on that side. Don't know. Oh, oh. So got peek at her. Is Gomak going to push? She kn he knows she's hurt. Another yeah, shield Gomak, built I, I think up. I, I think I pushed here. I think oh, I would have pushed oh, him. Oh, Gomak. man. Gomak might win by round. Miss Killer Bunny's going to lose by round. No. We're out of time. Wow, Gomak defended her completely off by rep. Couldn't even get the bomb planted. That is the first win on round wise by not being able to plant the bomb. I think Miss Killer Bunny forgot all about the bomb. And this is where we were talking about earlier. You know, about this uh, Miss Killer, I think he, or I think she might have thought Gomak was gonna end up rushing in, and he did not. Kind of sat back. And, and Reaper, you're right. Yeah, when we were talking yeah. earlier, go ahead. You explain. It's, 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 it's more it's more of the map. I, I feel like everyone just wants to fight because of the size of the map. So the bomb play is not really being played as much as we, we want to see. Uh, and, and, you know, that explained it in the last round there. Miss Pillar Bunny didn't even pick up the bomb this time. She just ran away from it. She's hey, not going for the bomb. She's just going to go for the kill. Oh, I think she just finally realized that she forgot the bomb. He is heading back towards it. This is going to take Go a Max. little bit of time off time. of her. The bomb. Oh, they had. Go Max taking his time here. He's kind of hanging out between A and B, more on the B side. Deploying utility. As she does the anti-air protection, Gomak plays the C4. Gomak sees her. Oh, shreds her down. Shreds her down. Gomak now comes up with a lead, two four. Bomb switches sides. We're down to pistols. Very very close. Still anyone's game. Absolutely. It is a. Uh, it's definitely a. Uh, definitely an interesting game. Um, Gomak is really positioning himself and playing that high ground very well. Uh, but Absolutely. now, yeah. now yeah, will Gomak have down. the bomb? With him having the bomb, will he have the pressure on where he needs to go? He might, but he is currently up. He's won four games straight in a row right now. Four rounds in a row. One. This killer buddy definitely needs to make some adjustments. And we do know that the LMG play is a great play to have because you have so much rounds to use from in your clip. But the thing is, is the accuracy definitely depletes as the longer you hold that trigger. So if you're a really good shot, I, I mean, I think you stick with pistols only, but that would be my play. But it, it's a hard one, isn't it? Uh, would you go for more rounds or would you go for more precision? You know, in, in this map, uh... I think the LMG has been out more than the pistol right now. Miss, I think, uh, Miss Killer Bunny rushing A, kind of keeping an eye on it as Gomak goes and plays B. Utility. Man, I am very surprised that the B B has been being played a lot more than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Like, Definitely being yeah, played a lot yeah. more than, that, than we thought, that's for sure. Yeah. Gomak placing the C4 on B here. Gets a peek at Miss Killer Bunny. It, I don't... It looks like she may have saw him. She's got the shield. She's using her own shield for protection. Oh, uh, Gomak with the Gomek better shot. Her and just takes down. her out. Wow. Well played. Absolutely. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely I mean, so Miss Killer Bunny. Miss Killer Bunny really needs to start making some adjustments right now, um, because right now she's got to be a little haste on what's going on. Uh, the strategy, Gomak playing the high ground a little bit, is definitely, definitely been the uh, the best way to go. 
and uh, just she needs to she needs to really make some adjustments and kind of think about her approach on when she enters in doorways because there are been a couple times where she got shot in the back and not know where Gomak is. Absolutely. Does Killer Bunny go straight to B. Gomak is making his way to B. He does see uh, her name. Oh, pop up. I see. Yep. And uh, Miss Killer Bunny did see Deploying him as well. Jersey. Let's see anti down. C4 out. Gomak tries to use C4, I think, for distraction purpose. Oh, C4. Oh, Caesar. He sees the shield get deployed Got there. Anti protection on one side, shield on the wall. other. Gomak got a peek at her. He took out the anti uh, protection there. That could be a smart move. Deploying utility. She's got another one she just laid down. He's out of anti-protection. As Gomak goes Gomak inside, is... I think is going to try to wrap I... around. He's... He might be, looks like he might be trying to bait her into another gunfight here. Well, Gomak does have the LMG and Miss Kilbenny does only have the pistol. Gomak coming around. Heading on the Speaking inside. Around, like oh. Back by to be here. Gomak has 20 seconds to plant the bomb. He needs to really to think about what time. he wants to do. Yep. He's going to have to do it and do it in a very quick fashion here. 10 seconds. He's running out of time. He's going to do it. Places the, the shield down. Places the shield down, Kinda but outside with... can't get the bomb in. Enemies planted the bomb. Finally gets the bomb down. Right on the outside. This killer bunny with is that, with that Frenchy strat here. Oh, yeah, he sees her. she's got it. She's gonna have to go around. There's no way that pistol is gonna be able to take that shield out. Nah. She's got to go around. He knows it. He's gonna be waiting for that one entryway to come down. Yep. Oh, he's got her on the stairs. Like Guns Maybe are down. Wow, that was a good that was a good uh, play on his part to put the bomb on the outside and lure only one entryway in. Absolutely, that was well yeah. played by Gomak there. Yep, definitely. I think uh, some people have been watching the mechanic play. I think so too. Of, uh, I mean, other than the uh, the high ground, we haven't really seen too many too many new inventive uh, ways to play this, but we have been seeing some pages pouring out of other competitors uh, uh playbook absolutely all right looks like go mac looks like he was gonna go b looks like he might be Deploying heading back towards the a here. side here Puts on both protections on B here as Gomak is trailing his way to A. Definitely taking his time. This killer bunny running to the other side, just seeing if maybe he's over at A. Now Gomak going back to B, going on the inside of that house. Taking his time. Looks like he's starting to... Uh... Could play off. This killer bunny definitely, definitely a. watching A. Gomak going B. Backtrack and goes back to uh, back to B. It looks like he's gonna go for that same strategy. Same play on round. the outside and plant the bomb. Yep. Will it work twice? Ooh, I think Miss Killer Bunny knows that he's over there though. I think Gomak might have heard her. He, before he planted the bomb, he did backtrack and is heading back towards. Yeah, I think she sees the, the shield up. I think she knows that that plays over there. He sees the shield. He's a little concerned himself. Oh. 15 seconds he to did, plant the bomb. He did, did put his C4 down in in the, Planting the, bomb. the middle between the two shields. Planting here. That gun is not going to take out that shield. It does take at least two full clips to take out that shield with uh Shooting with down her LMG. own. She's got another entryway, but now she needs to watch out. Oh, She's got Caesar. the precision shot. She needs to heal up. She's hurt. Oh. Oh. Go back with She's some nice hurt. shots here. Running out of time. 
Oh, go back knows he's got her with Let's one go. or two oh, shots. Go back, uh, guns are down to clinch it. Well played, you two. That was uh, definitely a lot of yeah. mind game. Well done. Next up on deck, we have Heartless Slayer and Hustle Dice. The two that are going to be scratching to see who's going to get out of last place. Should be a fun matchup between uh, two friends here. Two, sis two sisters battling it out. That's two rounds, though. Two rounds of the same play. Absolutely. Uh, that was two uh, rounds back to back play. Um, if it yeah. works, you know, they always say if, 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 it, if, it, if it works right, don't fix it, right? Uh, it absolutely. absolutely. Uh, ex exactly. But that, those plays are amazing because, like I said, there's only one point of them coming in like that. And, and once you hold that stairs like that, there's, it's, it's going to be hard to even get close to that bomb. So well played. Absolutely. Well played. The only thing you can hope as the competitor trying to approach that bomb where it's planted like that, you got to hope you, your gunplay is way better than your opponent's. Absolutely. Absolutely. We have been seeing, again, a lot of that LMG play as well. So it's going to be interesting on uh, on uh, how this works out. Uh, again, um, Hustle Dice, uh, you know, really new to the game still. Um, not, not, not really played anybody but Dallas. Uh, also doesn't really know the maps as Heartless Slayer. She doesn't really know the map. Um, she doesn't play Anvil either, but she does know the mechanics of the game a little bit more. Plus, she got a little bit of practice with the C4 last week. Um, this is going to be a a, a match, a match that I think that's going to come down to the wire. It could really go either way. Um, and uh, the excitement is just on the feet for both of these ladies, two sisters battling it out. It's a shame two sisters love each other so much have to go against each other in this death match. Uh, Renegade, what are your thoughts on that? Like, you know, you you love your sister, so what? What like you got? You got to now fight her. What do you think? Yeah, it is definitely going to uh, definitely going to be hard to do, but you uh, you have to kind of put that in the back of your mind and uh, go into it. Treating that your you know your your sister as if they're just another regular opponent. Absolutely, Reaper. What are your thoughts if you're fighting your uh, sibling? It, it, it was going to be very hard. Uh, uh, it's hard to it's, it's hard. I I I just wish them both the best, and uh, it's definitely uh, it's going to be excitement. It'd be nice to see who wins. Uh, I don't think I could fight my sibling, but you know who knows. <laughs> Yeah, do you think there'll be some uh, some tears and hugs afterwards? There's got to be, oh, right? I don't, I, I don't think there'll be any glass. bad omens after this. Uh, like I'm it, pretty sure they'll have a glass of wine and uh, and chill after uh, you know after they show each other repeatedly. It, you know? it, here's the question. Here's the question: Is if you sneak up on your sibling when you're in a match like this, and you and you and you sneak up on your sibling, and you know that your sibling has no idea that you're behind her, can you be the one that pulls the trigger? Can you That's pull that trigger? Uh, see now, now, now you put us in an awkward position. You know, like <laughs> what do we say? How do we answer that? You know. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, you really got to be a ruthless person that not to have feelings to pull that trigger. You know, um, and uh, you know, and and growing up in in my family, yes, I'm pulling the trigger. I'm sorry, <laughs> but. but uh, <laughs> But, uh, at least whisper in her ear first, say "I love you," and then yeah. pull the trigger. You know? <laughs> but, but two sibling, two siblings, uh, just yeah, that's put you. You're right at an awkward position. Yeah. Um, yeah. Next up, here we go, guys. Great match. We've got Heartless Slayer on the left side with the bomb first. Hustle Dice with the uh, the uh, uh, defending. Go here. Here we go. Alrighty, and the bomb is down, picked up by Heartless Slayer. 
We are pistols only. Heartless, we do know that she plays that sneaky game. Being very sneaky. Kind of heading over to B as, heart, as, as Hustle Dice is kind of deciding on which way she wants to go first. Looks like she's heading a little bit over to B herself. Switches. Goes back to A. Now making a run for it. Make her way. Oh, Hustle almost jumped off the map oh. herself. Yeah, she was Whoa. very uh, very close to uh, mistiming oh. that jump. That would have been terrible. Slowly making her way back towards B here. Absolutely. We've got uh, Heartless also kind of at there. She's got the, the, the shield in that same corner. Is about ready to plant the bomb, it looks Please like. Allow. C4 in the corner, the playing some sneaky tactics. Oh, Hustle just oh. here. We got a shot. Oh, what a gunfight to start off. Heartless Honestly, Slayer. Paul Heartless, she ran past her before she actually started shooting at her. I think Heartless Slayer got a little spooked there for a minute, man. Like, that came out of nowhere. Yeah. What a first round. Wow, phenomenal first round. I mean... Heartless Slayer had the had the tactics plan out. She was planting the, the shield. She had the C4 on the side of the wall where you couldn't see it. Um, and then Hustle sneaks up right behind her and really makes uh, makes makes Heartless flustered and just kind of unloads her clip and hopes that she hits her. Amazing first round. Yep. <laughs> As uh, now we see Heartless like, Slayer going the A, as Hustle goes straight, straight to B. B. Straight to B, it looks like she's hanging out on the stairs here by B. I think, uh, I think she's waiting for her move. And looks like as Hustle slowly, slowly kind of watching B as Heartless is creeping over to A more. Still a minute left to plant the bomb. She's thinking zip line. Heartless, it, Heartless is definitely thinking zip line. Does take it. Hustle's still over at B. Hustle's still at B, thinking that B's going to play. Heartless puts a C4 on Please the around. outside and plants the bomb kind of next to it. I'm passing the bomb. Hustle is definitely oh taking a sneaky approach. Hustle is definitely sprinting over towards A here. Heart oh, Heartless is oh. going over with the zip line again. Gonna try to catch her off guard. Has ice on the bomb and the C4. Oh, oh. oh. Placement placement could be good. Will Hustle right Dice there. take the bait? That's the question. Running out of time. Hustle's got to make a decision. Oh. This is the sneakiest play we've seen yet. Hustle's gonna. Hustle's kind of go going. Oh. She's going around. She's heading to the bomb. And she ends up pulling off the sneaky C4, play with the C4. It. Wow. 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 Tried to shoot the C4, my but I God. Oh the my shot. God. What a play. Wow. Wow. Oh, I think that's got to be a contender. Yep, it's got to be a contender. The way, the way she planted that C4 on the outside was such a oh, sweet spot. And we oh, know real. with that sneakiness, it's oh, just God. insane. Wow. I'm going to be honest. I, I'm actually scared in competing in the next league. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Let's go. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm quite concerned. Wow. Absolutely insane. Woo. The placement of the C4 was just epic. Wow. Looks like Hustle here is hanging out in between points A and B. As, as Heartless Slayer creeping over to B now. Definitely playing the stealth game as Hustle Dice kind of sits in that room, really waiting for uh, Heartless to make the move. Really thinking about what she wants to do. Kind of heading over more towards A for for Hustle. As Heartless is all the way on the other side of the map. Kind of by B. 
going for the gun, the bomb play. Oh, she's going for the sneaky C. Look, another well placed sneaky C4 plant and plants the bomb up in the corner. Yeah, well placed. Wow. Hustle is over at A. Hustle's Realizes at A. I don't think it's there, and now is definitely making a uh, wow a B line towards point B here. Looks like she's gonna try to come around backside. Definitely gonna win this by mind games. Does Hustle take the bait? Does Hustle take the bait? The C4 is planted well versed behind those plants. Oh, she sees Heartless she's, behind the uh, the wall there. She sees Heartless behind the wall. She does gun and down Heartless, but down. does can she get the bomb in time? Oh. The bomb's about to go off. She's just shooting the bomb. Oh, no. No. Oh. All she had to do was defuse the bomb. The no. bomb was infused into the wall. Hustle. Wow. Uh, Heartless does clean up by bomb win. So H Heartless will get the one point. But man. Wow played. These placements are just absolutely insane. As, uh, as Hustle Hustle had the win but just didn't defuse the bomb, I think she panicked there for a minute. Or either maybe she couldn't see the bomb on her side because that bomb was almost infused into the wall. Yeah, yeah it was, she it? might have been very confused and thought that the C4 would still get her if she uh, tried to defuse that bomb. I think that's what it was. I think maybe she was looking for the C4. Now we do know that you can't if if the opponent is dead, they won't be able to play their C4 when they're dead. So all Hustle had to do there was defuse the bomb, but I mean, you can't with her being again kind of the rookie of the league, she probably may have not have known that. It's it's very possible. All right. Looks like Hustle's just kind of creeping here by B, waiting to see where uh, Heartless is going to go here. We definitely have seen. Oh, oh Hustle comes in and, and just goes. Hustle comes in and tries to jump shoot her, but uh, Heartless just kind of guns her down. Heartless, Heartless been having uh, having just some here, you know, some of her 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 previous games. She lost just by a few mistakes, um, you know, and, and kind of just kind of bad luck. Um, I, I don't think, I don't think that's the case today. I think, uh, Heartless Slayer is like, yeah, this is, this is my time. Let's go. Oh, our, our plays have been absolutely phenomenal right now. Like, absolutely. I mean, just crazy. the bomb on the bridge was epic. So I, I don't know. It's going to be a tough, tough, uh, tough way to, to vote down and see who did get that gets the play of the day. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very, very close one. Hustle is sitting in between points A and B again. As, uh, as Heartless is just loving playing that sneaking game, thinking about taking the zip line again, I think. Looks like Hustle is making her way towards, uh, towards B here. Do you, do you see this trick happening again on the bridge with the C4? I mean, it's very possible. Surely yeah. Hustle does, shouldn't, wouldn't pull for that again. Like, if Heartless does do the same play, I'm pretty sure Hustle will probably be wise up to it. But who knows? Heartless blocks off the doorway, throws the C4 Please in the plant, plants the bomb. the bomb by the plant. The C4 is kind of covered by the plant. Taking a different like approach, but still the same play. Hustle's making her way. And 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 Heartless does have a. an eye on that. Let's 
Looks like Hustle's going to take the zip line over here. Looks like towards... Oh, maybe not. Hustle's running out of time here. Hustle needs to get to that bomb and decide on what she wants to do. She has to take the long way around now. She's got one yeah, exit. she got boarded up. Uh, mm. There and just gets her with the C4 again. Wow. It's like Heartless Slayer is playing like a ninja right now. She really the sneaky is. place. She's yep. In the head of hustle right now. Bomb has been dropped. Absolutely, absolutely. I think Heartless really wants that kill of the day. I swear, she's she's gunning for it. The rest of the competitors have really got to look out. Just some amazing plays right now, and uh, you know, not in terms of, of of doing really many analogies, but right now, uh, Heartless Slayer is just a spider, and and Hustle Dice is just a web, like or just just a bug in her web. Honestly, like it's just it's just absolutely insane on what's going on, and and again, uh. Heartless, uh, they did both purchase the armor this time, though. So they do have they the armor. Do. They did. It does look Hustle's like... Taking time. Looks like Hustle both, is hanging out by B here. It does also look like both of their LMGs are maxed out, so they have 90 rounds in a clip. Hustle's... Taking her time. Looks like she's going to come around to the B side here. Hustle or Heartless uh, plants that, that, that uh, thing in the doorway again. She's going for the C4 plant by another bomb. That one's even more hidden the bomb. with the bomb plant. Man, I mean, this is just sneakiness at its best. Going back to that same area. Just baiting and Hustle is thinking, what do I got to do? He's trying to figure out where, where, she's, where she needs to go here. She's running out of time, not being able to uh, to make a decision. I mean, yeah, she's about half bomb length right now. She's got to figure out what she wants to do. Hustle going the wrong way. I think she's going to meet her, though. Hustle sees her. Oh, she sees her. Hustle does now. she got to get the bomb. She's got to get the bomb. Take that zip line. Oh, she I jumped off the map. Like. No. Oh, she had No. Her. And she jumped oh, off the map. Wow. She missed the zip line. Oh. Amazing takedown there. Oh. That's just heartbreaking. Wait, wait. Hustle had her twice now. Oh, just mistakes is all it is. Just minor mistakes. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Now we're back down to pistols. Hustle Dice has the bomb. Heartless defending. See a little technical difficulties on the bomb on the plane side over there with the bomb. Yeah, we got some uh, graphic errors here on our on our side here. Let's go. All right, nobody likes to see their sister get shut out, but I know Heartless will not let up. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can at least Hustle see like Hustle get a win, a at least one. Line again, but decided not to, taking the long way over the A now. Going for the bomb plant here on A. Planted the bomb. Stop All right, them. Hustle planted the bomb on A. What's the shield there? Hustle watching both sides, thinking about thinking about the zip line. Oh, interesting uh, shield placement here. Hmm. Covering that bomb. Heartless is getting a little rushed. She noticed the bomb isn't at B. She's heading to A now. Running low on time. 
Let's just keep it within earshot of that bomb so that she can hear it. If she Heartless takes up, on. takes the zip line. Up on the back side, okay. coming to the bomb. Right behind Hustle. Hustle comes oh. around. Gets a better lane. And like Hustle, gets, Hustle gets, pulls gets... out the win on that victory. A pistol Nicely game. Nicely done. Well done, well Hustle. Well played. Let's close this contract out. Match point for Heartless. Hustle scratching and fighting to the near end of this. I mean, per two, per two minor mistakes, this matchup would actually probably be three, I would say five right now, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. But for Hustle Dice to be a rookie of the of the league, she's doing very, very well Absolutely. against the competitors. Very Absolutely. well. Absolutely. As the... Uh, Looks like Heart Hustle's going straight in towards B here. All right, let's go in B. Hustle going B. They both have the LMG. I hear... Uh, this is the shield there. I think Heartless oh. heard some footsteps. Bomb being planted. Oh, he's getting and two each other and Hustle, or Heartless, guns Heartless, are down. Heartless comes up behind Hustle, guns are down, and ends up closing out the win by defusing the bomb. Congratulations, you two. You guys played amazing. Make sure you guys yeah. give yourself some hugs and uh, and some loves, and uh, well done. Well done to both. Like I said, that was that right there was just, I think uh, Hustle was a little nervous about going into that map. Um, she said she didn't really know the map at all. Uh, she doesn't play Anvil. Um, also, you know, three, at least two minor mistakes where she could have pulled out an extra victory. Um, you know, could have made that go either way. But uh, can't take nothing away from Heartless Slayer. She played like a ninja. She really did. She had some phenomenal bomb placements in uh, C4 plants. Absolutely. Can't, can't take nothing away from that. Next up on the list here on deck, we've got Necrospawn Gaming uh, versus Gabs. Uh, two very, very amazing competitors coming in. Uh, Necro, uh, he uh, is ready to show off his skills. Um, Gabs, Gabs is uh, not a stranger to this game in any way. Um, so, uh, Renegade, do you have any thoughts before we load this up? I definitely think this is going to be a, a, a tightly contested matchup here. Um, two phenomenal rogue players going head to head here. Definitely uh, excited to see what's going to happen. And yes, uh, let's see. Uh, Reaper, do you, and I don't know if you know Necro. I think you do, right? Yeah, yeah. So you've seen him play uh, some other games, not so much this one. Nah. And I know you've never seen Gabs play. Uh, what, nah. what are your What are your breakdown? What do you think on this? Uh, cool. I, I'm 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 ready for it. I, and like I said, I've never seen Gabs play. Uh, I've seen a, I, I I've seen a couple games, uh, and I've heard that they're very uh, very good. So I'm I'm interested to see how they're going to play out because we see some absolutely crazy plays today. And, I, and to be honest, I'm, I'm waiting to see if, if they can pull off any more craziness because the sea wall placements, the bright shield placements, it's it's been it, it doesn't matter. Everyone's a winner in my eyes. Like amazing. So let's get it on and see uh see who wins. Absolutely. Um, Necro will be on your left side as Gavs will be on the right. Necro will have the bomb first. Demolition. Plant the bomb in either site. And then after around. this, on deck, we've got the ultimate mega pay-per-view matchup. Jay Doggles versus Aqua Stone, the one that everybody's been waiting for. But 
Gabs has been Gabs now Gabs was down towards the bottom of the leaderboard and she has been climbing very quickly. So she has a chance to still get on that podium. Um I'm really, making move that scoreboard. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm really excited to see what the standings are going to be after this week. Um because it's going to be a, it's going to be a great great uh turnout for next week's games and then we've got one more week for the final week before we decide on who is going to be the uh the taco society uh league rogue company league champion heading into that duos tournament all right necro with the bomb heading in gavs is uh sitting back here she's watching uh Watching A. Watching A. Necro heading to B. Very sneaky like. Sneaky has been the play, Reaper, man. You've called it from the start. Like, this big yeah. guy being so sneaky is just absolutely amazing. It, it, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy, you know? And it makes me want to may, maybe play him more. You know? Mm -hmm. I think the bomb. Yeah, Necro with a. Knows his planet. Necro with the bomb in the corner, plants off one, C4 in the other entryway, sitting over by the bomb. Only really yeah, two entryways. Up there in the, uh, doorway there. Two entryways to come in now. Bob C4, she takes it out. She did not and see Necro though, sitting behind that wall. Necro not only blindside shoots her, but distracted her by her taking out his C4. Well played by Necro. Amazing yeah. play, yeah. Necro. Amazing play. Now, like we said before, Gabs has been climbing her way up that leaderboard. This is a very, very important match for her. She wants to make as many points as possible because she need. This is a crucial match because she needs. She wants to win this to place. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. She definitely uh, needs the points, and uh, I feel like she's definitely going to get them. Uh, Necro's got a definitely a uh, play on his hands. I mean, Necro is really defending the the podium right now. So if you're up, if yeah. you are above Necro on the leaderboard, you're kind of wanting to pull for Necro to pull this out. But Gabs is Gabs is Gabs is sweaty. Gabs is care. Oh man, she's made some amazing play, having play of the week, the first week of the match or the the league. Gotta watch Please out for her. All right, looks like Gabs here is uh. Peeking around backside of B. And Necro is on A and does put the C4 on the side. Maybe taking a little bit of page off of Heartless Slayer's uh, playbook. All right, Gabs knows that the bomb isn't at B, so she's making her way quickly towards A here. Is approaching the bridge. Taking her time here. Using cover very well. They're meeting, they're meeting, they're meeting. Oh, and Gabs oh, comes over with some sharpshooting and just takes him out. Almost looked at ease. Wow. Excellent gunplay there by Gabs. Absolutely. He she had some some sharpshooting accuracy going on there. Like, kudos to her. Uh, yeah. we are one and one, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing shots. Amazing shots. I mean, some 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 events they would say this would be the semi main event. Um, and so far it is starting off that way. Yeah, I would definitely say that this would be a uh, co main event co main event matchup. Let's go. As Necro with the bomb kind of heads towards A now. Yeah, this has got the LMG and the C4. She's making her way to, uh, looks like, backside of B. Necro is sticking with pistol, though. Be a good play to stick with the pistol. That's the, I think, honestly, if I was in this, I would probably stick with pistol, too. I, I, I trust my sharpshooting more than that LMG, but... That's just my thoughts. Yeah, absolutely. We've destroyed the enemy force. Nice I'm not sure what just happened. What just happened? 
Did uh, I have no idea. We missed it. I don't know what happened, but oh. Gabs ended up losing that round. I think Gabs no. might have disconnected. Gabs did disconnect. Yes, yes he did. He did disconnect. Okay, we will uh, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll try to see what's going on. Let's take a little bit of a intermission real quick to kind of figure out what's going on here. One moment, guys. While we're taking the intermission, guys, don't forget, drink the squirt. Seriously, it's going to make you play better. All right? Fuck our squirt, baby. All the way. Definitely get this figured out here, guys. Oh, uh, what was your thoughts on the last game, though? The last game of WoW. Like, Unbelievable. Oh, the, the 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 Necro and Gabs matchup. Uh, no, um, Heartless and Dice. Heartless Hustle. And Hustle. Yeah, they're, that was a, was a really good matchup. Uh, there was definitely some uh, some mind games going on there on Heartless's side with the uh, the way she was planning the bomb and placing that uh, that C four near it. Oh, absolutely! The sneakiness of the C four behind the behind the little bushes and the little plants, like wow, yeah. like yeah, such a unbelievable. Sneaky and I definitely think that Heartless is definitely in, in in the title there for play of the day, you know, for that C4 on the edge of the edge of the, the walkway. Like what a what a C4 placement, you know, like definitely, definitely a sneaky play there. Rude boy Absolutely. does always say that Heartless is is the sneaky one of the uh of the competitors in this league. So uh, uh, absolutely and, that. and uh you know props for Hustle Dice as well for being new to the league. Uh I think she played very, very well, considering she's new to the game. Uh, her shots were on point, you know. Uh, obviously, we're all still learning. Uh, but, you know, a couple of mistakes happen. But still, you know, yeah. uh, I think in, in, the, in the weeks to come and the, the leagues to come, I think Hustle Dice is definitely going to be someone not to be wrecked with. I think she's going to definitely dominate a lot of people in the league. Absolutely. Could not agree more. Yeah. All right, let's go. We're just having a few technical issues right now. Understood. As soon as we can get the uh, the technical issues uh, figured out, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get right back into it. Absolutely. For the viewers at home, what, what are your thoughts on the game so far, to everyone? Definitely been thrown off by the, uh, like we've been talking about, the amount of sneakiness that is being used with with Anvil. 
today has just I, been I, absolutely phenomenal. I know. Like, um, like I said, I haven't played Rogue much, but him knowing he's the biggest character, it's like him getting around and being so sneaky like that. It's actually scary, you know. And it really uh, is. He's, it not, is, yeah. he's the slowest character in the game, but yeah. the fact that he's able to sneak around like we're seeing today is very scary. Exactly, especially with the with the stair play in the middle, you know, on 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 the a, near the A bomb. Like for him, for for all of them to sneak up the stairs and not get in the line of sight, because considering how bulky he is as a character, like like some of these plays are like wow, like you would think you'd be able to see him come up the stairs, but not no one's noticed him. You no, know, like yeah. Unless you catch a glimpse of them okay. running towards those stairs. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Um, just Welcome trying to back. Welcome back. Yeah, trying to figure out what happened here. Um, so with that being done, uh, we need to uh, figure out. Really, it's on Necro if he would be okay with still starting this over and making it even zero zero at the beginning. Um, if not. What I think we should do is we have to finagle this to where at least Necro was one match ahead for fairness wise. Um, because Necro was ahead, I believe. Yes, um, Necro was up two to one. So what we can do is Necro, if you if you're if you're uh if you're listening, um we we can restart the match and make a zero zero. Um this would be at your discretion, or we can have Gabs jump off the map one time. Where you'll be up by one match. Necro says he doesn't mind either way. So what we will do is we are just gonna start the match over and let them uh let them fight it out. Heads up. I think that is the best way. Thank you, Necro, for being very honorable on that. Um Absolutely. And here we go. Making it even. One more time coming at you. These two individuals, Necro with the bomb first. He's in sportsmanship. A absolutely sportsmanship. That is definitely when you know that we are a family taco love and we don't want to take anything away from nobody. So, Necro, we do appreciate you on that. Thank you so much. I may have been wrong. They may have been tied 1-1, but if they are tied 1-1, then we can definitely just play it out like it is. Um, but I thought Necro was up by one, but that yeah, could have been... Going into that one, yeah. where he got kicked out. Yeah, he so... Right, I think when she got kicked, he went up by one. So I think they were tied actually before that happened. So um, we are going to play at zero zero. You guys get uh, another showing. So I guess a couple extra more rounds of these uh, two amazing tacos going at it here, and then we will be back on the pay per view side of things of Jay Doggles and Aqua Stone that pay per view matchup. Yeah, that one definitely is one to watch. That's for sure. That's for sure. All right, here we go. We got Necro. We got Gabs. You guys don't have your popcorn ready. You will definitely want to make sure it's ready for the for the uh, even this matchup and next matchup. Get your yep. popcorn with the uh, with the sportsmanship of Necro. We he did say make it clean slate zero zero. He wants Gabs at her best, and that is Fast. that's a Check that's a office. gentleman right there. That is a gentleman. Absolutely. And they both warmed up now, and so this should be even more interesting now. Okay, here we go. Wow. Necro playing a very scary sounding mode. <laughs> <laughs> it even had me scared. I got goosebumps now. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Here we go. Temp number two at the uh, Necro Gabs matchup here. Now I do remember in the week Gabs was said she was nervous to play Necro, so he does have that scary effect on some of his uh, his opponents. Peeking backside of B here, waiting to see uh, what Necro is going to go for. Necro is Please definitely on B, puts a C4 in the doorway on the outside of that big doorway heading to A as Necro comes back and is thinking about Bomb Plant. Bomb Plant on the corner here. Gabs is making her way 
very strategically. She did get a peek at a peek at uh, Necro there behind those those boxes. Looks like she's gonna try to come up. Looks like she's gonna try to sneak up behind him here. Oh, Necro seen her on the side, trying to make that move. Gabs has got to be a little hasty now. The bomb is planted. Gab's thinking about zipline. Gab's takes zipline. Zip Necro didn't pull the trigger to try and shoot her though. As yeah, gonna come around, looks like right side. Oh no! Nope. We got a good Necro, fight. And, then oh, oh, oh. and Gab's comes over and cleans him up, and also defuses the bomb. Well played by Gab's there. Well played by yeah. Gab's. Definitely well played. Definitely a risky move taking that zip line like you did. But Absolutely. I, off in the end. I'm really surprised that Necro didn't try hmm. to peg her while while uh, she was on the zip line because we know how easy clippings that is, at least to make her hurt to think about, you know, recovering, but he didn't take that shot. He's being a gentleman, that's all we can say. He's being a gentleman, I like <laughs> that. <laughs> yep. The UK tacos are always gentlemen. Definitely that UK mentality. They gotta be. They, they gotta be uh, nice people. Yeah. Don't fight them yeah. in a hockey yeah. match, though. Do not fight them in a hockey <laughs> match. You don't want that fight. <laughs> Trust me. Far too well, what happens in a in a hockey yeah. match in a fight? <laughs> as uh, as uh, Gabs does have the LMG and Necro has uh, the pistol still. Gabs is. Gabs is peeking B. Gabs goes straight into B, coming around. Hmm. He's definitely I using think... the, a, a lot more cover than we've seen from a, other, a lot of other players. I think today. Gabs got a yeah. peek at Necro in that doorway. You're, you're right there. No, yeah. they, they're definitely using the cover very well. Absolutely. Necro's still got a minute to plant the bomb. Still got a little bit of time to work with. He goes, picks his C4 back up. Gabs looks like she may be coming around on the backside now. Off the wall here. Definitely heard something. Making her way. Necro has 35 seconds to plant the bomb. Gabs is taking her time here. Oh, she heard that explosion. Does that, was that a distraction move? Definitely being very cautious here as to where where to where Does to go. Does he plant the bomb? He's got 15 seconds to plant the bomb. Does he plant it? Gap's coming up. Oh, you see Necro. Oh, oh my and, God, Necro oh, had her. Him. Necro had her. Oh, Gab's just shreds him up. Necro had the jump on Gab's. Uh, good play by that, Gab's, but that's got to be disheartening to Necro. It's that LMG, man. I'm telling you, that LMG just rips. So fast, like, especially at that range. Yeah. yeah, just like... It's so hard to overcome it with a pistol. One thing I have noticed with that LMG is if you are aiming center of mass on people, that gun does not have a whole lot of recoil at center of mass. Absolutely. No. Yeah, you're right, yeah. And we have been seeing people use it a little bit more by looking down sights than just hip-firing it. Because you think mainly when you're in that close a range, you usually want to hip fire um, and because, you know, it doesn't limit your movement as much. But we've been seeing a lot of look down sights on it. Absolutely. They have been. People have definitely been using it more at the uh, the long range. This last oh, fight we saw. no. Gabs comes up behind uh, Necro. Uh. Ooh, Necro. Necro. Oh, man. Necro better think. Oh. Got to think of what's going on. Necro's definitely got to come up with a different strategy. So far, what he's, what he's trying is not working. Uh, yeah, uh, he he might want to he might want to switch positions here and maybe start playing, uh, playing B a little bit. Like we said before, Gabs does want these points. Gabs needs all the points he can to try and get back up in that running in the placement. Let's go. Maybe honestly losing those previous weeks was actually more of an asset than than later because it gives you that more of a chance to climb up. Um because yeah. Gabs was was dang near in, in last place and 
She's definitely making a comeback in the standings. Looks like she's creeping backside of B again. Starting to make her way towards A here. Necro kind of singing up, kind of down below the staircase. Gab's peeking around. Gab's doesn't definitely watching that zip line there in that. Definitely peeking running, the zip line. Running, running, running. Oh, Here's her up. Oh, Necro oh, ran oh, right oh. into her. Necro ran right into her. Gab's making this look easy. Wow. He's definitely picking him apart right now. Absolutely. Yeah, honestly, yeah, with, with the restart uh, happening and Necro being up, if he was up 2-1, uh, kudos to this gentleman as far as, you know, coming back in with this mindset, knowing that he's got a now scratch and claw from the backside of things, so. Yeah, yeah, much respect to him. Very, very much respect. Don't take yeah. anything away from Necro. You know, he's still having fun regardless of the fact that, you know, this second time around, he is, uh, he's struggling a bit. You know, he's still having fun. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Nothing, nothing ever gets Necro down. He is by far one of the best, uh, tacos in the, in the society. And, uh, he's always got a positive outlook on everything. Guys, if you don't follow him, check him out. Phenomenal, phenomenal gamer, streamer, uh, amazing rock star. Got his own band. His music's been popping up on Spotify. Uh, just almost on that brink of stardom for rock star. So check him out. Phenomenal guy. Looks like Gabs is, she was at B. She went through the middle, peaked A. And it looks like she's going back to B here. Looks like she's going to head back towards A again. Yeah, Gab's just running back and forth. Looks like the Roadrunner just going back and forth. All we need is the beep beep sound. <laughs> Necro got about 35 seconds to plant that bomb. Does block off the inside of the doorway and looks like she may be planting the bomb up. Oh, Necro shreds oh, her oh, down. Necro, he says, all right, I'm awake. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Well played by Necro there. Yeah. Maybe Necro's just playing the waiting game now. Maybe he's decided not to go aggressive and just maybe play it slow. Necro was maybe Necro was studying Gabs on what she was gonna do, just giving mm. her the upper hand a little bit. That looked pretty textbook. That did look very was very methodical and calculated for sure. Is a, it's going to be a very risky move if he left Gabs win a couple of rounds to, to know how she's playing, but it could pay off for him. Absolutely. Looks like she's using these crates again to get a peek at A. Definitely not being, Gabs is definitely not using the uh, sneaky approach running between these points right now. I'm passing the ball. Ah, I, no, you're right, yeah. Necro oh, planting the bomb on A, throws his shield down on the stairwell. Either left or right. Yeah, Which way are you going to come, Gabs? Gabs Watching that left A. side. Shooting on the side. A little off on her shots there, but she still hurt him. Please allow. Gabs takes the... Or Necro throws the, the C4 Ooh. down at the bottom of the stairwell. Using the zip line again. See the LMG oh, shot. Gabs man. Them down. Necro went a little wild on the shots there, and Gab's just straight shooting. I think uh, I mean, Necro was a little, he panicked a little bit there cool. towards the end on that shot. Absolutely, he did. A great push by Gab's there. Amazing push. Again, also, if you guys. On his, uh, that, that, the C4 deployment or uh, explosion there. A little too early. I'm up for a run. Bomba switches sides now. Uh, we've got pistols uh, only. Um, still a great match. Necro still fighting Klon, making some plays. Gabs just just really pulling out the textbook strategy to know where everything's at. It's almost like Gabs is just one step ahead of uh, on Necro on, on strategies right now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you 
want to get involved in these uh, Paco Society Rogue Leagues, the tournaments, anything that is coming on in the works, please, please, please join the Taco Society. And uh, we will take care of you, whether you stream or not. Great place to meet friends, have fun, and uh, just grow more with, a, with an amazing family. As Necro does see a glimpse of Gabs coming over to B. Takes cover here behind this wall. Gabs thinking about what she wants to do. Necro. Oh. Uh, oh my god, oh, with the better no. shot! Necro takes Gabs out! Wow, that was a pistol battle. Wow. At its wow. finest. I think that's the first time we've seen anybody like someone standing, someone crouching with that shot. Um, I think I think you know that was that was very very interesting because we all know when you crouch, it does hone in your sights a little bit more, so it does bring up that accuracy. So that might have came into play there. Two five Necro still fighting and scratching. Gabs has that, has the bomb. This time Necro yeah, does have the LMG. Gabs is not, she kept the pistol this Gabs time. Gabs still has the mm. pistol. Necro blocks off one of the doorways as coming up, trying to, I think, come behind Gabs. Gabs is looking at A, thinking A. Is she gonna Takes go A? Taking staircase oh, up. You gotta peek at him. You gotta peek, gotta at, peek him. at him. Ooh. Necro's got a better really Necro hurt. with the C4. Kind of a not a great throw. Gabs. Gabs takes Gabs some shots. Gabs has a, 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 a about a minute to to plant the bomb. Necro with a C4 throw. Gabs rolls into his fire. He is really hurt. He's only one shot. Necro oh. guns are down with barely a little bit left in the clip. Barely. Just barely a little bit left in the click. Wow. 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 I honestly think that was a risky, risky move for Necro because he, he if, if she wasn't as low as she was, she would have survived that. Wow. Gabs wow. does have the LMG for this round. Wow. Just bare nothing in that clip. That was insane. And there must have been of only what three rounds left in that in that clip. Yeah, easy, easy Plus three easy. rounds. Wow. Easy. As right. Necro is heading to B. Looks like Gabs is heading towards B. She Necro got sees Gabs. Necro throws C4 kind of out in the open there. I think Gabs might have heard the, uh, the C4 thrown. Gabs want to test this, or does Gabs want to go to A? Oh, get no. Yeah, Necro turned around. Necro, Necro yeah. turned around. Necro backed off. Gabs is backtracking Gabs as well. Gabs is seeing. Okay, Gabs is now going over to A, Ooh. and Necro staying on B. Might be a really uh, smart move here by Gabs. Going back Necro blocks A. off the backside of B. Gabs is heading to A. Gabs does have the bomb. 45 seconds to plant. Looks like she's going to go plant at A here. See what she does here with the uh, the bomb plant. Bomb's active. Bomb is planted on the, is back planted on the, the back building building side here. of the building. Ooh, places C4 right, next, right to the right side of the bomb. Anvil Ooh. goes and or <laughs> Necro goes and drops down, comes up the backside, comes up oh, on Gabs. Oh, huh? Gabs shreds Necro him. down. Wow. Well done, Gabs. Necro, nice try to come up on the backside of that staircase. Wow. See that LMG is so close, it's so deadly. Like. Again, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get involved in this, in the Taco Society Road Company Leagues or the Duos Tournament after this, please join the Taco Society. 
and enjoy our family and we will support any streamers and non-streamers no matter what you play all right here we go gabs does have match point here it's like she's gabs on match point necro point. back up against the wall but don't count them out You know, the one thing I do have to say about competitors is other than the one misfire of getting on the zip line that Hustle had, everybody has not oh. jumped off the map once. Gab's got a peek on Necro. Oh. Necro throws C4, wow. taking a shot. Oh, saw it. Gab saw it. Definitely taking her time here. Takes oh. out the C4. But he took the other side. It might have been a distraction. Necro, oh, oh Gabs got oh, Gabs Necro down. down. Just a little bit better of an angle, and Gabs pulls out the victory. Well done, Necro. Well, well done. done, Gabs. Necro, thank you for being a gentleman, playing that heads up again after a second time. I appreciate you on that. Um, thank you so much. Uh, and Gabs, well done. Well placement. You conquered your fear this week to playing Necro. Like you said, you were afraid to play. And uh, you did you did phenomenal. Good job. Good wow. job to both of you. Yeah, well done. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The match that we are been all wanting to see. The one, the only Jay Doggles versus Aqua Stone. This is two Titans. Top of the leaderboard. Coming in. To play. Reaper. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. This is this is the game. This is this this is the one everyone's been waiting for. And uh, oh man, I, I I I'm excited. I saw I'm I'm excited to see some crazy plays. Uh, I I, I really can't put who's gonna win. Like it's <laughs> it's it's one of those games, you know. And uh, I like, all I can say is I wish them both the best. And uh, <clears throat> I just look forward to seeing some crazy. Crazy plays, you know? Absolutely. Renegade, what's your breakdown on this? This. Oh, my. Um, this is going to be, I, I, I think it's going to be a nail biter. I think it's going to definitely come down to uh, who's going to have the, the better uh, mind, mind play. And uh, who's going to come up with the better shots and the uh, and, and who's going to play the, the the shield correctly? Like, there's a lot that's going to be involved in this one because these, like I said earlier, this both of these guys are playing as their main character that we see them play with the m most often. So it's definitely going to be a uh, a tough matchup. But we'll find out who the number one anvil is right now. Absolutely, absolutely. This is uh, this is the match for the ages, guys. We're talking two titans, two legends, two taco legends going at it head to head. Everybody's been wanting this match for for for. I mean, this is easily five to ten years in the making. Easily, um, what we've been wanting to see. We've got. You know the uh, the executioner, the 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 amazing tactician Jade Ogles, who loves playing Anvil. That's his boy. It's his favorite favorite rogue to play with. And we've got Aqua, who is the mind game tricky satire uh, player who you know has not played Anvil as long, but has said that he is the better Anvil. This is the match that we want to do. Just breaking this down though in sort of in sort of standings, do you feel that there is any pressure? Or is there more pressure on one or the other per the point standing? Like we talked about. Jay Doggles is still sitting six points ahead of Aqua in the league. So potentially could be a rematch if if you know in the next following at least the next two weeks. Um, depending on point scoring. Uh, Renegade, does that come into effect? Or is this just a you let everything all hang out there? And you, uh, you, you just, you just see what happens. I think it might be a combination of both. Uh, we talked about earlier that 
you know, I was kind of on the side of, you know, there, there could be some added pressure to Aqua here, you know, meaning that he is, you know, six points behind Jay Doggle. So if he has a bad showing here, it could uh, completely mix up the uh, the scoreboard. But on the same hand, you, you can't, if you are Aqua, you can't let that get, get in your head. Uh, you got to let, let everything go, put it all on the table right now, and uh, see what happens. Awesome. And uh, Reaper, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, thinking, do you think standings or do you think of this is the moment? This is what we do. Like, what? Are- I, 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 honestly, I, I don't even think these guys are even going to think about points right now. They're just going to say, right, I'm the better anvil. I, I'm telling you, this is, this is the fight of who's the better one. I, I think that they're not even going to worry about points and who's on this table and who's on that table and who's got points. They just want to know out of both of them who's the better one. And I think it's just a fight for that. Awesome. I, I wish them both the best. Awesome. We are going to get this match started. Also, keep in mind that, again, this is our taco family. Regardless, at the end of the day, we are still brothers, regardless of who wins, who loses. We are still brothers at the end of the day. So please keep that in mind um, and just hope that we have a really, really good fight as we load up into the plane and uh, get this matchup on the way. Here we go. Jay Doggles, Aqua Stone. Oh man, I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps just to call this match. Yep. Oh. Clash of the Titans. Here we oh, go. Oh man. Man, I got goosebumps. <laughs> this is gonna be a very interesting one for sure. Just just uh, you know. Whew. Whew, man, I just don't know what to say. <laughs> speechless. Speechless. Absolutely speechless. Demolition. Pick a site and plant the bomb. Here we go. Jay Doggles on the left side with the bomb. Aqua defending Anvil versus Anvil. Brothers versus brothers. Titans versus Titans. Ah, the buildup. The buildup is there. And you don't even have to pay for this action. It's live coming at you on Twitch. Woo. Man, I can just hear the, I can hear the crowd just going nuts right now. Again, also trending on Twitter. We are the number one road company play right now. Also <laughs> trending on Twitch. Number one play right now. Guys, this is action at its finest. It don't get any better. Here we go. All right, here we go. As Jay Doggles comes in, starting off with the bomb, pistols only. All right, Aqua looks like he's taking the page out of Frenchie's book here. He's peeking this doorway, kind of peeking towards A. He did get a peek. Absolutely. At Jay Doggles. Jay Doggles the taking line. the zip line. Oh, Very oh. gutsy, and Aqua guns him down from afar. Wow. Oh man! Wow, that was quick. Although, I, I, I did wow. notice on that Aqua was not nearly as accurate with his uh, his his gun firing there as we as we normally see. I have the bomb. Yeah, he missed quite a few shots there. We talked about that zip line. The zip line has just got to be a death trap, unless you are patio. Got to be a you know, death trap. Unless they, you have are put, they, have, <laughs> they have to put a sign on that zip line, you know, cross at your, you know, at your pleasure, you know, like, you know, at your risk, you know, like, they have yeah. to. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think they also need to have a sign that says, are you patio? Because if you're not, don't. Uh, we, need yeah. to, we, need to, we need to talk to the architect about that zip line there. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Patio as, use only. As uh, J Doggles is moving out. Got the right. uh, got, going for the same strategy as got last the LMG. Him again. Aqua did Aqua. see Jay Doggles. He did see him go right behind those boxes mm-hmm. there. Is he gonna rush the zip line again? Aqua is really hanging oh, out he there. Sees him. I think he's 
Aqua now has the high ground right now. He sees Jay Doggles going up these stairs. Aqua's going to pick out a nice shield play. He's got the shield play. Aqua is kind of just hanging out, watching Jay Doggles to make a move. Jay Doggles knows he's got 40 seconds to plant the bomb. As... He waits for Jay Doggles to run. Ooh, Aqua almost accurate. took him out as he ran away. A little inaccurate with his shooting that again. That was that high Whoa. ground, man. That high ground is rough. Oh, my God. Ooh, Aqua's Jay hurt. Doggles caught him. Jay Doggles pushing in. Oh my god. Just takes him out with a headshot. Oh my wow. god. Holy crap. Woo. Wow. What a comeback there from wow. Jay Dog. Oh, no. To, to have, have to, for uh, Aqua to have the high ground and then, he almost, and then to, to get hit with, Oh my god. He almost finished him when he had the high ground there. That's the thing. Yeah. Almost yeah. Him. Like, Let him get away. Like I mentioned in that first round, he's a little off on his accuracy with the shooting right now. Do you think that could be nerves? It very well could be. I do. It said it does look like Jay Doggles did purchase the armor. Okay. okay. Aqua did not purchase the armor. He does have the LMG okay. and the C4. Got to make that's got to make uh, that's got to make Aqua a little bit nervous if he sees that little health bar and that armor there. Looks like Aqua oh, ran straight on the bridge underneath the other side. He has a peek at Jay Doggles. He sees him going over by the stairs. He plants his C4 at the top of it. Yeah, these two want to fight it out. They don't want to play bomb. Mm -hmm. You can tell. Yeah. Aqua grabs his C4 back. Oh. Oh, nice oh. throw. Hurts him. Hurt him. Oh, good what play. What a throw by Aqua. What a throw by Aqua. Wow. wow. Ooh, that, that is experience with the wow. player right now. Using that, that blast effect. Using, using that blast effect. That could also be a contender of play of the day as well. That was pretty good. Wow. That was definitely experience with anvil knowing the accuracy of how to throw that c4 like that absolutely I, absolutely i didn't even know i didn't even know c4 could be thrown that far let's be honest that, yeah oh, that wow was, that was a heck of a that was a heck of a throw heck of a throw but you got you can't count out jay doggles because i guarantee that play will not catch him off twice he will not be caught with that twice i guarantee you Looks like Aqua's gonna rush in towards B here. Definitely being very aggressive is they Aqua. They are with both the being game. very aggressive. We've got Aqua on B, uh, and Jay Doggles on heading kind of to B. Oh, Aqua seen Jay Doggles peek. Aqua grabs the C4 back. Jay Doggles heading to peek A. Around this corner. Aqua's right behind Jay Doggles. Jay Doggles sees him. Oh. Nice try, Aqua. That was a great play. Aqua they are not even a thinking. Lot of bullets here. Bomb is planted. Bomb is planted. Aqua's coming in. Oops, he's preaching. Keep in jump. mind. Keep in mind. Jay Doggles has that uh has that armor on. Oh. Aqua coming in. Aqua jumps down. Aqua's definitely got to be careful where he's at right now. If he gets pushed oh off. Oh my god, comes around oh. on the bridge. Didn't even see him. Dean Aqua's just what cleans him up. Woo! Oh my god. We got a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Well played by Jay Doggles. He's there. like, well he's played. like, what are you doing on my bridge? You know, you didn't pay. You didn't pay. You didn't pay. Get back. <laughs> pay the toll you know? across the bridge. You're going to pay, baby. Get back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is my land. Get out of here. <laughs> what are we? <laughs> wow. You are right. You want that bridge? You better pay. You're gonna pay, yeah. Wow, well said, Reaper. Well said. Jay Still Doggles making his move. Aqua taking the zip line over to A. 
Okay, Aqua playing A right away. Day Doggles making his way. Aqua played playing to the C4 right next to where you come off of that zip line. If you would, if J Doggles would decide to take it, what is mm. J Doggles gonna do here? Plants the bomb. the bomb on the side of the wall. C4 on the side of the wall. Taking a page out of Heartless's playbook. Oh, Aqua, Aqua C4 going back, back to oh. A, thinking, thinking the bomb's over there. I think he might have went back to. Back to A to uh, grab his C4 that he had planted there. Ah, thinking yeah. that maybe Jay Doggles would go over there. He did. Aqua inside the house. Making his way. He's very sneaky now. Not being aggressive here. Oh, plants the, plants the C4. Goes for it. Oh. Jay Doggles. He's got the shield up. He's got a rush. Both kind of hurt. Oh, hurt. Both hurt. Oh. Oh. What wins my bomb? Jay Doggles wins my bomb. Wow. Oh wow. my God. Just oh. enough distraction to win by bomb. Wow. Wow. Holy I know I this smokes. Was be a nail biter. <laughs> oh my God. I know I this was going to be a nail biter, but I. Th this is definitely living up to that. Yeah. Yeah. They are going all out. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Do not turn your channel. What a fight. Whoo. I think I think Jade Ogles is right where he wants to be right now. Bomb switches sides Absolutely. next round. Aqua playing amazingly well as well. This is the kind of play that we expected from Aqua. Aqua's hanging out by B here. He did play in both his on C4 B. in the corner by B. They're both on B. That back corner right there by J. Doggles. There is a C4 oh, planted by Aqua. He, he didn't even see it. Oh, Aqua nice. with a sneaky kill. Wow. Wow, I think Aqua has been watching the uh, previous matchups and knowing yeah, that that yeah. corner likes to be planted. Absolutely. Yeah. Well done, Aqua. So sneaky. Aqu that was definitely okay. played at a Heartless Slayer's book. A Aqua was just clearing up the bowls in his backyard. That's all he's doing, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So so the way that it sits right now is uh, Jade Ogles is up. Uh, on points here and this is really good for his standings right now because he's staying neck and neck with aqua which would keep aqua out of reach of that standing point so what a game aqua a really game. needs to change it up and shut jade ogles down if he really wants to take that lead spot still anybody's ball game And it's like Aqua's. Okay, so now Aqua has the pressure of the bomb, and Aqua, or sorry, uh, Jade Ogles has the pressure of Aqua having the bomb. Again, we've all, we've said it over and over and over. Whoever has the bomb has the control. Hmm. Got a hundred. Uh, we got a, a minute and twenty seconds. Aqua, Aqua went to be backtrack, uses the zip line to go to A. Oh, places that that shield to block the bridge. Enemies planted the bomb. Stop Interesting uh, bomb Ooh. plant. Oh, he sees Jay on the zip line. A little inaccurate the on his shot. shooting. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. Oh. Man, hey, Jay Doggles is on headshots right now. Mm. Oh Doggles is on his headshots. Accuracy, his accuracy is deadly right now. Bomb spotted. Oof. Good shield appointment there by Jay Doggles. Jay Doggles is thinking about going for the bomb. Aqua's moving in. Aqua's moving in. Nice push on Jay Doggles oh. on that bridge again. Aqua deploys his shield. Ah, he's running out oh. of time. He's been wiped out. Aqua he's shoots Aqua him out. Man, that was just a. 
That was a, a well played for Aqua to just kind of bait that out because he made Jade Ogles think about what he had to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well played. God, that bomb. That bomb is crucial. It's hard to play that bomb. That was an excellent gunfight, though, between the two. Just neck and neck going back and forth with Aqua with the, the last two wins. Let's go. Neck and neck. All right, see where Aqua goes this time around. Looks like he's going to head towards B this time. The doggle's kind of peeking that doorway now, really, really playing that strategy that Frenchie was playing. Aqua's taking his time. I think, oh, I think Jay Doggle's... Jay Doggle's been right over top of him. Oh, they're going to meet up. Oh, he's so hurt. He's so hurt. And with a turnaround shot and Aqua shoots him up. Wow. Wow. Nice job, Aqua. Well done. Well, well done. Aqua finally got a little bit of a cushion. This has got to make him feel good. We had an amazing first six rounds and uh, Aqua now starting to pull away. That bomb with control is, is starting to come into play right now. Let's go. What a match, what a match. All right, can Jay Doggles get back into it here? Jay Doggles uh -huh. has has the LMG right now, as does Aqua. Aqua looks like he's headed into B. He's playing that, going to that same place he was last round where he picked off Jay Doggles. This time it's opposite side though. Jay Doggles has the higher ground. Oh, Aqua has a peek at Jay Doggles there in that by the bridge. I think I definitely saw J Doggles sitting there. Aqua gonna come up behind. Backing away, he ran. J Doggles heading over to the other side. Mind game being played. He's got a. He's got a. Oh my god! I didn't even see the C4. A nice little dirty tactic there to uh, to play that C4. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Aqua on match point right now. Ooh. God. They are pulling out all stops. Absolutely. Phenomenal, phenomenal match. This is what what we what we wanted. All Aqua right, again is, yeah. playing that strategic side of things. He's really, really good at playing that. Let's go. As uh, See if Aqua does that same play that he did last round. That C4 but is just nasty. Don't count Jay Doggles out yet, though. No. Absolutely not. You know Aqua's not going to take Jay Doggles lightly here. Like Aqua, Aqua's going for that same play that uh, I think Gomax used earlier. Frenchie used it. Frenchie used it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. He took the shield down. He's not going for that. He wants that other way in. Aqua sees Jay right around that corner there. Oh, and Aqua cleans him up with some shooting. What a match. Wow. I think Aqua had the shotgun there at the end. That close wow. range. Well done, Aqua. Very, 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 very good. Awesome, awesome well matchup. Played. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Let's break it down here to these final matches. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, was that everything you wanted out of that match? I, I think it. It was a very entertaining match. I was, uh, I was definitely shocked to see the, uh, the lead get extended there for Aqua at the end, but. Uh, 
all in all, very good matchup there. Uh, absolutely. You know, everyone wanted to see the, uh, you know, Clash of the Titans, and I think they definitely uh, give us a show, and they, they did both amazing, uh, especially with the bridge play. You know, if you don't pay your toll, you get booed off the bridge, you know, and, uh, you know, and that's what he showed today, you know, and, you know, and, and even the C4 coming around the corner, that, that play. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, that was both of them. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. I agree. Aqua is just huh? textbook on strategy. He knows what he's doing. Huh? Um, and, huh? uh, it was uh was was absolutely great and he he did a phenomenal job. Jay, you uh take nothing away from your play, man. You took Aqua to the limit in those first six rounds. Um, you know, it could have been a very, very different side of things if it uh if you know, again, that C four was a crucial crucial thing, which we were surprised about last week as far as we didn't know how, you know, we thought it was gonna come down to gunplay, it came down to C four. Um, hmm. but uh with that being said, uh, don't take anything away. There could be again a potential rematch of that match right there, um, just because uh, how the points are lined up. Um, I think all Jay Doggles has to do is probably win out the next match or the next outing, and he could see very well see Aqua again. Um, but the time will only tell. Uh, also, uh, it is anybody's ball game. There's still still a lot lot to be played, lots of points to be made. And uh, we still got two more weeks before we got that duos tournament. So uh, we will, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, final thoughts of the day. I think it was phenomenal for every competitor that played today. Thank you all for being here, putting in the time. Thank you all for watching who was here. Uh, Renegade, any, anything else you have to add? Um, I, I was very happy from, from what I saw on my end. It definitely looked like we had some very... Uh, some very honorable gameplay. Uh, another thank you to Necro for uh, being willing to uh, go back to zero zero and redo that match with Gavs. That was very honorable of him, but we did have some very good matchups. Everything looked like it was very uh, fair today, which was much appreciated. Absolutely. And uh, Reaper, uh, thank you for coming in and, uh, and being a part of this uh, presentation. We do appreciate you and uh, you called the shots very well. Um, no, I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me this evening. And uh, like I say, congratulations to everyone. They're all winners in my eyes. The games and the plays that I, it's made me think about my future in Roy Company. And uh, uh, and I'm going to put it out there now. If anyone needs a, a dual partner on a Roy Company, just hook me up because I, I need to be taught. Okay. <laughs> I need to get up to your guys' status. You know, like I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm scared right now. All right. Seeing these plays. Yeah, I, I got some learning to do, but I appreciate you having me on the show tonight. Honestly, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Uh, we, will, we will unveil play of the day and match of the day uh, later on Discord. We have to go under some official reviews, get that all entitled. Um, you guys know that I do try to get this posted as far as either Monday or Tuesday. So play of the day will be announced here very soon. Um, and also match of the day will be announced very soon. Uh, also on top of that, we know next week, uh, rogue will be announced in map on Friday. Uh, randomly, we are down to two rogues left. We have trench and we have Dima left. So it's going to be very interesting because those two, uh, are more heavily on the attacking side of things. So, uh, it'll be very interesting to see how that is. And, uh, um, with that being said, guys, if you want to be a part of the taco society, rogue company league, uh, or the TWS, the new TWS, uh, please be a part and join our Taco Society. Phenomenal, phenomenal place to grow, have fun, and just be a part of an amazing family. Um, with that being said, uh, good night, guys, and uh, we will see you all next week for week five.